lately. <coughs> I don't even know what time it is, to be honest with you. The one thing I know is that it is early. That's what I know. I know it's early. That's about all I know. It's early and we're live. That's all I know. It's Thursday. Hi, Staley. Good morning. Hey, Bettina. Hey, Linda. How is everyone? Hey, Leslie. You're up early. It's an hour earlier where you are. So what's going on? Uh-oh. Hold on. I got to get my... I put, I moved all the tool from the ground to the table and now Luca doesn't want to get in to where she was laying because there's no tool. This girl of mine's crazy. This puppy of mine is crazy. Ah, hi, Tony. What's going on, Tony? So what's going on with you guys? Oh, thank you already. You guys are already on it with the thumbs up. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. you guys are already all over it. still this is the new one um my brand new one um it sounds different <laughs> makes me nervous for some reason every time when it sounds so different than my my baby and no this is not the good tool this is the bad tool but i'm trying so hard to work through it Trying so hard to work through it. Oh, hi, Sammy. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to miss you. Tony and Sammy, my girl Staley. Sorry, Tony. I would never purposely leave out a, a sibling. That's for sure. People used to do that to me and my sister all the time. And um, I refuse to do that. So what's everybody up to this early morning? One, is that too loud? Because I don't know where else to put you guys because we redid the, um, the sewing area. We moved it around. So I don't know where to put you guys if that's too loud. Is that too loud? Hey, Kathleen, it's fine? Okay. It's 
So today we're just going to make some serious tutus. Hey, Kathleen, how are you? All is well here. How is all with you, friend? How's your heart? How are you feeling? Hey, Tracy, how are you? <clears throat> okay, as long as you're still going to the doctor and everything. Oh, wow, we already got 10 thumbs up. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Tracy, I use a Juki TL2010Q. It's the TL service. A lot of people just call them the 2010s. Um, it's my baby. I'm um, actually, I just bought a second one, um, which is the one I'm using is the, is the new one because my older one's downstairs. Um, but I, I love this thing. This is like my baby. The, it's the best sewing machine I've ever experienced in my life. They did fix the old one. The old one is fixed and it's working just fine. It's my fault. Well, okay. So it technically is my fault. Um, I wasn't oiling a spot where I was supposed to be. I thought I was oiling wherever it was supposed to go. Um, and there was a seventh spot I didn't know about. I just knew about the six. So, and it, I broke it, but without knowing I was breaking it, without knowing I was doing something wrong. So, still my fault. But it's fixed and it's going. I'm using it downstairs right now to make dog bandanas for craft shows. So 
So, just add it to the list of machines I have. Um, if I ever have to claim them for insurance, <laughs> they're going to be like, you have what? And what is that? And you have this and you have that. How many machines does one person need? And the answer is always going to be one more. If Carolyn comes in, I need to speak to her. I just got to remember. Um, yes, everything is insured through our house insurance. I've got two multi-needles, two jukies, and a brother serger that all have to be accounted for. In fact, during the, um, I was worried about the hurricane that came through. Hurricane again. Moved everything to the middle of the room and put tarps on everything. Yes, they are insured. Doing, Lou. Look at what you're doing. What are you doing, Lou? Yeah, it's all covered under homeowners. Oh my goodness, Kathleen, that's crazy. Yeah, they cover it here. Luke is acting very strange.
I'm serious. Like, I've said this from the beginning. I've said this from forever. BB Crafts has the worst tool in the world. In the world. I'll scream it from the mountaintops. I will scream it from the mountaintops how horrible their tool is. Luca, leave it. Luca! She made me use the mean mommy voice, y'all. Um, Leslie or Staley one, can you guys list that we're live in the group? I just tried to, and my phone is not cooperating with me. I don't know what's going on with it. She's nothing is working out right so far this morning. You guys ever had a morning where it's just nothing works out right? So far today, this morning has not gone the way it usually does. Thank you, Leslie. You're good, Staley. Leslie got it. Thank you, though. Ooh, this tool. Wish you guys could see how horrible this tool is. But it's so light. I don't think it'll show up well. It's it's lavender, so it's like super light. Goodness gracious. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Kathleen. Thank you. You're in the drop off line. <laughs> That's cool. We got the babies. Tony, I hope you have a great day at school, buddy. Hey, Carolyn. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Did I see? I didn't see you come in. I'm sorry. 
I didn't see you come in. Hi. <laughs> Carolyn, can you link your store? Um, I need to buy some stuff from you for my sister for for um, Christmas. I need to get some of those those car coasters for my sister because they are brilliant. Carolyn sent me the coolest package, you guys. I'm not drinking out of it today because I have to wash it. Um, but it is so cool. I love it. I've never seen any a design like it. It's awesome. It is super cool. Even my husband was like, hmm. I was like, no hands off, buddy. This one's mine. I flat out told him hands off. <laughs> flat out told him hands off. This is mine. <laughs> He's like, it's so different. It's not girly. And I was like, nope, but it's still mine. So I'm in love with it. Absolutely in love with it. It's so pretty. I posted it on our Facebook group, guys, so you could see what she sent me. It is so pretty. I was going to post it on my actual um, Facebook page, like my personal one. But then I realized none of you, not everybody's friends with me on my personal Facebook page. So no, everybody would be able to see it. And I know all of us are, are members of the VIP group. So I just made an executive decision to put it on there. So you guys could see it. And I'm so proud of it. It's so pretty. It's just really neat looking. I'm very proud of it. And very thankful to have it. Very thankful. So we are just making tutus today. We are making so many tutus. So many tutus. I've got, I don't know, 11, 10 or 11 to make today. And then I got to get all the orders put together. Got to go to the post office. And then when I get back, I'm going to start working on dog bandanas for the show coming up in two weeks. Everything in here is backwards because I used to go to this side for this and then this side for this. But now we've switched my whole desk around and pushed it against the wall. Now I'm confused. Like my whole body isn't doing what it was originally used to doing because I'm turned around. And I've got the door to my back, which I'm not very fond of. But I had to make some changes. So, so here we are. Here we are. 
Aren't they the the cupcakes and icing one is so and it's it's so, Carolyn, you didn't know this, but you got in on an inside joke because icing to me. I have a hard time. I didn't know what icing was for the longest time. And um it's like this huge inside joke now because I didn't know what icing meant. <laughs> so when my husband read the the car coasters, he laughed so hard because he's like, that's what you thought it was. I just didn't know what icing was for the longest time. For those of you that don't know, icing is a call in hockey. Uh, it's, a, it's a penalty call. So... So it, it was funny, Carolyn, because he still makes fun of me. You would make fun of me, too, if you if you knew what I thought icing was at one point in time. I'll tell you some other time. So, you know. <laughs> So it's a call. Um, Carolyn, can you explain it a little bit better than me? You understand hockey on a different level than I do. Um, it's a call when the puck goes past a few zone, like into a certain zone that, um, and there's not another player down there or something like that. It's, um, oh my God, I don't know how to describe it. Carolyn, help. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I'll Google it and give you the exact term. Hold on. In hockey, icing is an infraction when a player shoots the puck over the center red line and the opposing team's red goal line in that order when the puck remains untouched and without scoring a goal. I know that just cleared it up for you, right? Right? <laughs> Michelle! Hi! How are you, girlfriend? What's going on, Michelle? You okay? You're awful quiet. I mean, you just said, hey, lady, dot, dot, dot. Usually you're like, hi. You okay? Making me nervous. Hey, Beth, how are you? No, my friend, you are awesome. So we, I thought icing, <laughs> this is so embarrassing. <laughs> Carolyn, I thought icing was when they stopped short and shot ice all over their opponent. And I did not understand how you could not ice if you're like skating super fast and then you have to stop. <laughs> Ay, ay, ay. That's what I thought icing was. <laughs> so my husband, now you know, like my husband thought it was the funniest thing. He's like, you probably thought it was just for cupcakes. <laughs> so, you know, it does sound like icing, right? I just thought, and then I thought, how can they avoid that? How can they 
So they have to stop short. Like, how can they avoid shooting ice everywhere? Like, I don't know. So there you go. <laughs> Finally back to good tool. This feels so good. Finally back to the good tool and time to go back for some more bad tool. Oh, that's gross, Beth. I'm sorry. I hope you feel better. Hi, Cynthia. I missed you coming in. I'm sorry. Good morning. Good morning. I hope you guys are having a fantastic morning so far. All right, these are my two T's that need to be done. Two T's. All right, Carolyn, we'll see you in a little bit. Hopefully today is a really nice long live, hopefully. I like it when they're nice long lives. It makes me feel very accomplished. I hope so because I like long lives. I really do. I know I'm probably silly and probably, but it makes like when I get on with you guys, I, I feel like I get work done a lot faster and a lot more organized and a lot more efficient. And, um, like more so when it's just me and Dave Matthews jamming out together <laughs> and I get to talk to you guys, which is don't tell Luca, but you guys really, you know, it's easier talking to you guys. She's probably gonna get all upset with me. All right, Michelle, I missed something. Michelle, on a serious note, are you okay? You guys are, I don't know. Luca's pretty cute. Luca's pretty stinking cute. Ooh, that'll be fun, Leslie. We'll see you in a little bit. Enjoy. Enjoy. Okay, as long as you're okay. I worry about you, friend. I don't know what it is making that noise. It's driving me nuts. I can't figure it out. My other one used to make it too in the beginning, and I never could figure out what it was, and then one day it just stopped after it was driving me bananas. Luca cut when when Luca decides that she wants to be cuddly, it's awesome. She doesn't, she's not a very cuddly dog. Yesterday was Gypsy's birthday. It was like being kicked in the gut when I realized it. I miss her. I miss her a lot.
All right. Um, so what does everybody <clears throat> have planned for today? All right, we got to change the subject. What's everybody got planned for today? What is that noise? That is going to drive me bananas. Good morning, Monica. Oh, that's awesome, Staley. Yeah, she's um she's been gone nine months. No. Eight months. She's been gone eight months already. It just doesn't even seem possible that she's been gone that long. Ninety nine percent of the time, I'm fine. I just need a minute. Um, just give me a second, guys. I'm sorry. All right. I am sorry about that, guys. Goodness gracious. <clears throat> All right. So let's see what we've got going on. Um, let's see what we've got going on today. Let's catch up. Eggs and cinnamon toast. That sounds pretty good. That sounds pretty delicious. I'm having coffee. I am just having some coffee. I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm really hungry, but I, I tend not to eat breakfast, which is probably the wrong thing to do because I've noticed that if I eat breakfast, I eat more during the day. So I really try, I eat, um, I drink coffee until about I mean, not all the time, but I drink coffee and then I eat about four. If I can do it. Sometimes, you guys know, sometimes I have to take a break and get lunch. But the majority of the time, if I can, I, I try not to eat until dinner. I mean, I'll have like some cheese, like a cheese snack or something every once in a while. But it's probably pretty bad for me. Yeah, she was part of my life for 14 and a half years. I held her when she was six weeks old. And then I held her when we said goodbye. I just need a minute, guys. I'm sorry. Give me just a second.
Okay. <clears throat> All right. So we got to change the subject. I can't talk about her anymore. Um, All right, so I got to get all these tutus done, and then I got to package up all these orders because the shirts are done, and um, got to get that done, and then I'm going to go to the post office, and then I might go live again when I'm making dog bandanas because um, Terry's not home today. He's working from work. Like, he has to go into work today, so he's not working from home, so um where I work from downstairs is on our dining room table, which is very close to his office. So I wouldn't be able to go. Um, I wouldn't be able to go live down there and talk to you guys while he's working. Um, but since he's not here today, maybe I can. Um, I'm not celebrating that he's not here. Don't, don't think that. <laughs> but um, But having said that. So, anyway, so we're just going to forget that that happened, because I am, like, slightly emotional today for whatever reason. I don't know why, because I'm not even tired. I'm caught up. I think I'm caught up completely on sleep from last week. Um, last week, I did not sleep hardly at all. In fact, Friday night, I didn't go to sleep at all. I stayed up from, I was up for about 38 hours straight trying to get work done for the craft fair and then the actual craft. So I went to a craft fair with no sleep whatsoever in Florida in the heat. And then I was out cold for a while, but I think, I think now on Monday, I think I was, I was super tired on Monday. Um, Tuesday, I started working on craft fair stuff again. Wednesday, which was yesterday, I just embroidered all day on the machines. And today, Thursday, I'm making tutus and packing it up. Going to the post office and then making sh making sure everything's done before I go to the post office. Um, what is that noise? I was going to drive me. Oh, I know what it is. I know what it is. I think I figured it out, guys. All right, so let me catch up. Hi, Carol. How are you? Did I miss somebody else coming in? Hey, Kim, I did miss you coming in. Got sick with stomach flu. Oh, goodness. Yeah, I, um, you know, I take my rings off. They keep getting, see, they, my rings are like this. It's, um, I'm not bragging or trying to be a show off. Um, but my rings are like the prong set. Ignore the horrible, I need to get my nails done today sometime, somehow. Um, so it all, all the tool gets caught on it. So I have to take my rings off and then I forget them up here and then Terry gets upset and then I get upset and then I can't find them and I freak out. And the whole time they're just sitting up here. Well, thank you, Staley. Um, you know, it's a big drama. Mostly on my end because I panic. And then Terry says, which is true. Um, they've got to be here. You didn't take them outside of here, which is true. And they're up in my studio. And part of the problem is, is I put them in different places each time, like a ding dong. So anyways, sorry, I broke down on you guys. That was not very professional or very cool. Can't help it. I still just miss her so much sometimes. So anyways, There, that's fixed. Kinda. It's my handle. There we go. Maybe that'll work. It's 
the handle making that noise. It's the handle. Michelle, did I make you um, an admin or a mod on the website, on the on the VIP group? Because I know I meant to. I just don't know if I if I did or not. Or the main thing is, is I don't know if I did it correctly. Hi, Yvette. How are you? Well, thank you, guys. I was just trying to explain how they get caught. My my wedding band is the one that gets caught. My my engagement ring is perfectly fine. It's my wedding band that gets caught. I don't know if I did or not. Let me see. Let me see if I can figure it out. Hold on a second. Because I honestly don't know. I can't remember if I, I know I, I tried to. I just don't know if I did it right. Hang on. Okay. Well, I can't do it that way. <sighs> Maybe I can do it this way. I honestly don't remember how to do this. Admins and moderators. How do I add? I don't remember how to do this. I'm gonna have to really look into it because I don't want you to feel left out at all. Hey, Lisa. Go for it, Michelle. Let me know when you're ready to talk back. <laughs> Let us know. I am just going to do tutus. Until I, I would say I'm gonna do two twos till I'm two two to two till I'm two tooed out, tooted out. Um but I'm already tooted out, so I'm just gonna do two twos until there's no more two twos to do. How's that sound? I'm just gonna two 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 away. I'm just gonna do two twos. Until I'm tooted out, I'm already tooted out, y'all, for real. Until I'm too, too tired. I have reached it. I have reached the too, too tired point. This is the good tool. Oh, I love this tool. This tool is like butter. It's not, I'm not fighting against it all the time. I'm in a constant, I'm too, too. <laughs> Michelle, that was great. <laughs> too, 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 too. Too, too many too, too's. 
two, two. That's my new call. Two, two. If I were, a, I, if I played hockey, Carolyn, my gold song would be two, two. Hello. <laughs> LOL, right? Hey, Robin. Yay. Dude, I want to make your pie. That pie you posted on um, TikTok. I want to make that. That looks, was it delicious? Was it good? It looks like it would be so good. It looks like it would be delicious. Oh my gosh, this pie, Robin, can you explain to her what the pie, it's like Cool Whip and cream cheese and, oh, it just looks amazing. I wonder if it'd be good with an Oreo cookie, um, pie crust, like instead of the graham cracker crust, if it'd be good with an Oreo cookie pie crust. Cream trees, powdered sugar, whipped cream. So it sounds so good. I'm sure, you know, she could probably make it with sugar-free Cool Whip, like a, um, like a powdered, like a sugar substitute. I bet she could make it with that. Hey, Karen, how are you? It's, it sounds amazing. Do you think it, um, blah, 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 blah. Robin, do you think it'd be good with, with, um, a Oreo cookie one? Mmm, that sounds good. Yay, Karen! I can't wait to meet you. There, I cannot wait. I'm I'm so excited. I cannot wait to meet all of you guys. We are gonna have so much fun. We are gonna have so much fun. I cannot wait. Cannot wait. It is going to be awesome. I just need to lose 50 pounds between now and then. <laughs> That's what I need to do. I need to lose about 50 pounds between now and November 4th. <laughs> I don't think it's going to happen. <laughs> I don't think it's going to happen. You're going to have to share me. Oh, Leslie. I'm going to have to share you. Especially with you guys driving. Now you're not going to need to be in my car. I'm so sad. Oh, I'm like so sad I don't get to spend extra time with you. But at the same time, glad that you're going to have a ride. I would have taken you guys anywhere. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh. I got to stop. I, I actually went to bed early last night. I fell asleep about 1030. Um, I turned off my phone. Put my phone on silent, like do not disturb about seven. I fell asleep. About, I, if I, if I don't turn or if I start answering texts or stuff like that, that late, I'll never fall asleep. I just get wound up. Lisa, what are you doing? Friend. And is Wendy here yet? Wendy? Down home Wendy? Did I miss her coming in? If she's here? Oh, I bet you woke up exhausted, Michelle. That's dangerous. That's dangerous, friend. Yeah, it's on my list, too. You can tell in my pictures that I, I just realized that I posted on Facebook of the Tumblr and the car coasters that Carolyn sent me that you can tell how big of a wreck my kitchen is. And I, I don't even care. I mean, don't get me wrong. I care, but not enough to be like, oh, no, I'm taking a picture. We got to make it look perfect because it's not perfect. It's a house. We use the kitchen. You know, like my house is never going to be perfect because my house is lived in. You know, my house is lived in. Leslie, you've been on my lives later than 10, Miss Ma'am. Unless you watch, did you watch them from the bed? I've done that before with lives. Dell, how are you? I missed you coming in. I'm sorry, friend. I missed you coming in. I'm sorry. I think Terry needs one, but he won't go to the doctor. He gets mad at me every time I mention it, so... Maybe wife doesn't know best. Maybe I don't know. But I feel like it. Because I feel like he stops breathing and then goes. <gasps> and does a huge snore. Bye, Robin. Thanks for coming by, friend. And thanks for posting that delicious cake, um, pie. I'm going to have to make it. Foot's better, guys. I'm pretty sure it's broken, though. Um, I've been wearing a boot. I guess I just need to go to the doctor, in all honesty. But I think I'm going to wait till <laughs> this is horrible. <laughs> I'm going to wait till after the expo.
I'm going to wait till after the expo <laughs> because I want to go to Disney and I don't want really, I really don't want to go to Disney in a boot. So if it still hurts like this, like next week, I'll probably go to the doctor. But if it's something that I feel like I could get through, then I'll get through. I just, I can't go back to the doctor and say, Luca hurt me again. Like last time they brought in an advocate to make sure I wasn't being abused at home. It was so embarrassing. What's daily? Are you okay? Yeah, but I think by law they have to offer an advocate. Um, even my doctor was like, he laughed at it. He's like, oh, we got to have somebody come in and talk to you. And I was just like, okay. They need to go somewhere where they're, where they're needed. Not me. I'm just clumsy. You guys will see. Those of you going to Disney with us, you'll see. Had to turn the air down, um, up. I mean, it was a little chilly. It got to be a little chilly in here. Oh, I understood, Staley. Got it. I reread it. It makes more sense to me now because I reread it. Sorry about that. Yeah, y'all can take me to the ER. I'll be fine. I'm clumsy. You guys will see. I'm just, I'm not graceful at all. There's nothing graceful about me. If there was, I wouldn't have, have had to have had emergency surgery on my shoulder. You guys will see. I'll trip over everything. I'm out of bobbin. Hey, Yvonne, how are you? Yay for family. Hey. Hey, Ollie. Um, so I tripped over Luca on my foot. And um, I'm pretty sure it's broken. <laughs> However, I have not gone to the doctor. Because I know they're going to tell me that even if it's not broken, they're going to tell me to stay off of it. Which, I sh which, which, by the way, I'm not doing nearly as much as I have I used to. So I have been staying off of it much more than normal. And I know they're going to put me in a boot and they're going to tell me not to climb the stairs. I have to climb the stairs because I have Etsy orders to get out. So I'm going to have to climb the stairs and I'm going to Disney. I'm going the week, the, I'm going 
to Disney with you guys um, on Thursday and Friday before the show. And the week before that, I'm going to Disney three times with Terry. So, by the time you, by the time I go to Disney with you guys, I might actually be in a cart. I might actually be in a cast by the time I see you guys. So, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, Luca has caused me, I, I can't tell you how many injuries. I mean, I think this will be the seventh or eighth time I've walked into urgent care where my doctor is with broken bones from her. The last time it was really bad. I went in, I she uh, tripped me and I fell and landed on her dog food container. Um, and I landed, I broke three ribs and fractured my sternum. That's when they had an advocate come in. That's when the advocate came in. I'm thinking about renting one of those parts at Disney. In all honesty. The good news is, if there is such a thing as good news with this, is that I can get us DAS passes. Which means like we can go and sign up for a ride and it'll give us a fight like a, like a lightning pass, a fast pass. It'll say come back between this time and this time and then we can go wait in line on a ride and then come back and ride that ride when it's time and then do the same thing over and over and over again. So we will ride a ride and then get in one without waiting. Ride a ride, wait, get in one without waiting. Back and forth. So that part's good. Um, so that part's good, but, um, you know, you know, no, Luca's not klutzy. I, I joke around all the time about like how I think Luca's out to kill me. Like she wants Terry all to herself, <laughs> which is, I mean, she's obviously not out to hurt me. She would, she would never, oh, I say this. I don't know. She would never purposely hurt anybody. I know that. That I know for a fact, but I swear she's trying to kill me. It's a long-standing joke within my family about how Luca tries to kill me. Hang on for a second. That's the vet's office. This is her vet because she still is having some of those, um, those spots. I 
Okay. Sorry about that. It's just when it comes to the vet and Luca, like if the vet calls, you answer the phone. If your mom calls, you answer the phone. If your dad calls, you answer the phone. Your best friend calls, you answer the phone. But with Luca, she just she's got these little staph infections. I can't really explain it. They're like little quarter size, like the size of a quarter. Um, and she's been on different antibiotics for them now for three weeks. So we finished the, the really big antibiotic, the really rough one that hurt her belly so bad. Um, and it cleared it up a little bit, but not enough. I just feel like she, maybe she needs something a little stronger, but I, it's a long story. a long story. So anyways, hi, Carolyn. Yeah, she's, but she, so she, she only does it like in the kitchen and in our bedroom and up here. Everywhere else, she's perfectly fine. But, and she doesn't do it to Terry. She just does it to me. She started it when we lost Layla. Um, and now that we've lost Gypsy, <clears throat> it's even, it's gotten even worse. So I know it's a comfort thing. Um, and I know it has something to do with me, just me. Cause she doesn't do it to Terry, just to me. So, you know, it is what it is. Yvonne, I rearranged the studio. I did. I've got to do a vlog on my studio, but the problem is, is that, so when I did a vlog on my studio before, when it was downstairs, I didn't have hardly um, any type of business going on. So anyways, well, thank you. So when I did it before, I didn't have it. I wasn't running a, a business in it. You know, I was still working at a dog and cat place and I was just kind of, I wasn't doing embroidery yet. So I was kind of just farting around doing craft fairs and blankets for family and quilt. I was quilting and stuff like that. So there wasn't really, number one, there wasn't as much stuff because I wasn't running a business a three to five bit day turnaround business. Um, so it was neater, cleaner, not cleaner, but neater, more organized. And I didn't have stuff hanging out that was, you know, like projects I was working on that are, that, you know, orders I've been working on. So I've got to get past the thought that it has to be perfect. Does that make sense? So let me catch up with you guys. Very common for dogs to trip people. Yeah, she does. Hey, Ollie. did I say hi to Ollie? I feel like I did. Shelter allows dogs to come visit. I um we do, but I can't because Luca is super. I know she seems very sweet and she's very sweet, but she's super dog aggressive. The only dogs that she was not ever aggressive to were Layla and Gypsy and my sister's dogs, um, Ziggy, Bama, and Cricket. Um, because and I really believe it's just because they were here first and she knew that. Um but she, um, she will tear apart. It's, it's, she doesn't even look like the same dog. She foams at the mouth. She, she's constantly like blowing snot, like pfft, foaming at the mouth, hair sticking straight up. She's not even the same dog. Um, and she's even worse with cats. She's not, I'm, I, she's fine with humans. She's good with, ch she's good with some children. She's not good with all children. So we, we have a rule now that there's, there's no kids, small kids around her. Um, and that's, that's just probably my fault because we don't have kids. So she's never been introduced to them. 
So Terry's super allergic to cats. So she would eat a cat. Um, so we just have to be like, when I go to the vet, I call them from my car. I'm like, Hey, I've got Luca. Um, what would, you know, is the lobby clear because I'm not going to take her in when there's other dogs in the lobby. And a lot of times she's so aggressive. They'll take me in a side door directly to her room. And then I leave through the side door and I don't go through the lobby. They have my credit card number on file that they can run. And then they email me the receipt. So I don't even have to go into the lobby. Cause she's that dog aggressive. And the whole time we're walking to our room, she's trying to get dogs underneath the door in rooms that have dogs in them. You know, she's not a full-blooded pit bull. She's, um, we rescued her. She's definitely a mix. So we know for a fact that her mom is a red nose, purebred. Her dad was a bull mastiff mix. Um, but she has got Sharpay, Schnauzer, um, Pitbull. Sharpay, Schnauzer, Pitbull, Boxer. I can't remember what else. But the Sharpay is a very aggressive dog um, towards other dogs and sometimes to people. So she's got some, she's got some me and Schnau as much as people do love schnauzers, I have to tell you from professional experience, it's just my experience. I'm not saying that your schnauzer is not amazing because your schnauzer is probably amazing. Um, she, I never had good luck with schnauzers. They were always really mean. Every scar I have on me is from a chihuahua and a schnauzer and schnauzers. Those are every scar I have on me from work from chihuahuas and schnauzers. So you know, um, I think it's the, I really think it's the Sharpay in her because the Sharpays can be kind of mean. I don't know, but she's, she's just mean to other dogs. She's wonderful with humans, wonderful with humans. Um, she's just meant to be an only dog. That's why we don't, haven't looked into getting a, <laughs> she's right there. That's why we haven't looked into getting a puppy. Luca's going to be an only dog until the day she's no longer with us. She's going to be an only dog for the rest of her life. Which is sad because I think she could really, it would be really good for her to have a friend. But it's just not in the cards. I was talking to my sister yesterday about, oops, about it, about how I, I miss labs. And I was telling her, I'm like, I don't know if I actually miss labs or if I miss our labs. Um, so I can't get a black or a yellow. I just can't do that. My heart's, I, I'm just, I'm number one, I'm not ready for another dog. Um, my heart's just not there yet. And number two, I don't think I could ever get a black or a yellow again. So I'm looking, I would want a chocolate lab. Um, Probably Chocolate Lab. I'd love to name her Paisley. But Terry doesn't like the name Paisley. Though Terry didn't like the name Gypsy. But I won that battle. <laughs> that was a battle royale. And I won. It was a throwdown fight at my house. And I won. We both like Layla, the name Layla. We both uh, like the name Luca, but we fought, not fought, fought, but we bickered and argued over Gypsy's name. Out of Bobbin. No Bobbin. No Bobbin. Leslie, don't get me started on a gray lab because there's no such thing as a gray lab. A gray lab is what they call a silver lab. And it's made up from a very long time ago, people decided to breed 
chocolate labs and Weimariners. And that's how you get a silver lab. Now, because they've done it so long ago, much like the doodles, there's enough silver labs out there to breed silver labs and get more silver labs. But it's not really a lab. Most reputable, in fact, all reputable breeders um, and dog trainers do not like them because of that. And there's no such thing as a charcoal lab, which is a black lab Weimariner mix. Um, though now they can breed for them. I think they're pretty. I'm just a snob. Like, I'm just going to put it out there. I am a snob when it comes to labs. Um, there's no such thing as a charcoal lab. A charcoal lab is a black lab Weimariner. There's no such thing as a fox red lab. A fox red lab is just a really dark pigmented yellow lab. I, I don't know anything about any other breeds, really. I just know a lot about labs because I did so much research before I got Layla and Gypsy. Um, and I'm a snob. I, I, I just, I'll admit it. I'll throw it out there. Um, and I will, I will own it that I'm just a snob when it comes to labs. There's nothing wrong with the actual, if you have one, it, it's perfect. It's your baby. I understand. But, um, I have a hard time with people who, who breed to get, um, Um, anyways, they're, they're good dogs. I just have a problem with breeders who breed chocolate, who, who breed silver and charcoal labs and charge an arm and a leg for them because they're different colors. That's the only thing. I think they're fantastic dogs. I think they're fantastic animals. There's nothing wrong with them, but the majority of breeders that I see, the vast majority of breeders I see that breed charcoals and silvers charge through the roof for them and they're diluting the breed. That's just me, guys. I am just a snob. I'm not saying that they're not great. I'm just saying that this is how they came to be. I'm just a snob. And I'm a snob when it comes to dog food. Um, hold on. That's her bed. I'm just a snob and I, I truly don't, um, anyways, I just have a problem with breeders charging more and, and stuff like that for breeds that they've created to charge more for. That's all. I'm just a snob. I'm not saying that you shouldn't own one. I'm not saying that you shouldn't buy one. I'm just saying from my point of view, this is what it is. So I'm just a snob and I'll own it. I'll own it. A lot of times they're called backyard breeders. Um, breeders that just breed for the money and don't, don't help better the breed. Because technically when you breed dogs, any, any breed, not just labs, I just use labs as an example because that's all I know. I don't know anything about any other breeds. Um, you're supposed to better the breed with each breeding and each coupling that you create. Um, by, by breeding silver labs, charcoal labs, fox red labs, all of that, you're diluting the breed and not helping it. So that's where, that's where my issue comes in at. Anyways, it's my issue, nobody else's issue. So it's just a backyard breeding type thing. And if you do breed them, I'm sorry if my um, comments upset you, but they're my comments. It's my personal opinion. That's all.
Okay, sorry, I had to catch up with the vet because that's that's important to keep her. They want her to do. They're putting on clindamycin, prednisone, and I have to use a dilute bleach on her spots. That's how affected she is. So anyways, let me, let me hop off my soapbox, um, about breeding because <laughs> that's what it feels like. It feels like I'm on a soapbox. So anyways, I just have very strong opinions, um, especially after being in the, in the dog industry for so long, just definite opinions. Does not mean that they're bad dogs because they're not, they're labs, they're excellent dogs. I just have something against the breeder trying to make more money off of something that isn't a true breed. That's all. So anyways, let me hop off of that. Hi, Betsy. Okay. Okay. So anyways, let me hop off that. Let me catch up with you guys. Hey, bro. You know I'm just making tutus, girlfriend. The shirts are all done, so just got to catch up with tutus. Let me catch up with you guys. So much. You're learning, learning so much from me. Thanks. If you're ever on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire and you need to phone a friend, I'm the girl. I don't know a lot about much about one thing, but I know a whole lot about random stuff. I'm your random stuff girl. I am your random stuff knowledge girl. I'm just very passionate about labs. Very passionate. Yeah, I moved my um, my studio around a little bit. I'm gonna. I I keep saying I'm gonna do a vlog on it. I'm going to do a vlog on it. I just have to get it cleaned up. I think Kristen, my friend Kristen's gonna come over and help me soon. And then we're gonna go from there. Exactly, Michelle. So does mine. Truth. Why is it doing this? Are my bob intentions off or something. My bob intentions off. So I always take it this way. So this time I'm going to take it the other way. My stomach is growling, 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 growling. Personally, I'd much rather have a mud or mixed breed just because they tend to have more genetic variety and less genetic issues. Yeah, I mean, so like I bought Layla and Gypsy from a breeder in Okeechobee, Florida. 
um, Layla had cancer three times. First time at two years old in her mouth. Um, second time on her leg. She was six when she had the second time. Six, hold on, seven. No, six when she had it the second time on her leg. And then she would have died from the third time, but her vet made a mistake during surgery and we lost her to a vet mistake during surgery. Um, Gypsy never had cancer. Gypsy only had to have her teeth cleaned twice in her entire life. She was 14 and a half when we lost her. Um, Gypsy did have hip dysplastic. She was slightly hip dysplastic. Um, nothing horrible. Um, she had some problems later on in life that's just genetic to the lab breed. She had something called um, laryngeal paralysis. It's just very typical for a lab to get when they get older. Um, and a lot of the stuff we were dealing with with Gypsy wasn't lab or breed related. I mean, some of it was, but the majority of it was age related. Um, Luca, she's got horrible hips. She's got, she's two fake knees, two metal knees. We had to have those replaced. Um, she's got horrible allergies, you know, so it all just depends. Gypsy was by far my healthiest. I don't very often talk about losing Layla because it still makes me mad. I still get upset. So. So anyways, let's change the subject. Even though this is a subject, like I'm so passionate about it that I could talk about it for hours, but you guys are going to get so bored. So let's just go back to making tutus and talking. I don't know. And talking. Kidney failure is very common in older cats. That is true. Welcome back, Kathleen. Get some breakfast, Michelle. I know you're hungry. <laughs> Robin. Good morning, Kathleen. Welcome. Welcome to the live. Empanada sound good. Right now, everything sounds good. I'm hungry. Yay! That's awesome, Leslie. Good morning, Janie. How are you?
That sounds like a good plan. I have Bantam bagels frozen. I don't know if you guys know what those are. Have you guys ever heard of Bantam bagels? Bantam bagels? Bantam? Bantam? I can't remember if they're called Bantam or Bantam. They're so good. They're little bagel balls, and in the middle is cream cheese. Like, they're little bagel balls filled with cream cheese. I get the everything one or the chive ones, and they're so good. They're so good. Bantam is a little chicken. That's what it is. <laughs> I'm named after one of the one of Pam's bantams are named after me. I should have known that. I should have known that. They're so good. I like the everything one the best. You know what else is good with everything bagel seasoning is um, hard boiled eggs. Cut in half and sprinkled with some. So good. Oh, I love the everything bagels. They're so good. And when I when I make plain everything bagels, um, just the the regular bagels, not the bantams, ban 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 whatever. Blah, 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 blah. Um, I always use jalapeno cream cheese on the everything bagels. It's so good. It's like a little spicy. So good. A little bit bitter. It's delicious. It is delicious. I'm so excited for Leslie. Leslie, when you when you get done with it, Leslie, you're gonna have to um, post pictures of it on the VIP group. I love pickled jalapenos. They're so good. Have you ever had pickled okra? Pickled okra is the bomb. And they have spicy pickled okra, which is so good too. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Y'all, we got to stop talking about food. I'm hungry. I can't eat until four. Actually, I could eat anytime. I'm just not going to eat until four. Started drinking more water. I might have some. We got some. Um, <laughs> speaking of jalapeno, my husband. So I went to um, a craft fair on Saturday, right? It was a big one. It was one of the big ones in the area. It's called Fall Fest. Um, and my husband, I went with my friend Kristen. So I stayed the night at Kristen's house Friday night. 
and we left for the show because we were we were in the same show together. We were in the same booth and everything. So, um, I uh, he I sent him the email that told him where it was. He got confused and went to a different place. And in doing so, he ended up at a farmer's market that had an Amish um, couple that did cheese and dairy. So he got some Amish cheese, which, by the way, is I have yet to have an Amish cheese that wasn't phenomenal. So he got Munster, but it is jalapeno and habanero Munster. It is so good. Probably going to have some of that, to be honest with you. Did I miss Alicia coming in? Uh-oh. Did I miss Alicia? Did I miss Is her, Is Alicia here? Am I going crazy? I'm fantastic, Janie. Thank you so much for asking. Oops. So anyways, Leslie, did you hear what I said about posting pictures on the group? I'm dying to see this. She should. You've been working on it for so long. I'm dying to see it. Oh, that's where I went with that. That's right. So anyways, the Amish cheese. Oh, oh I thought Alicia was here. I was like, where's Alicia? Yeah, they, they're, it, it, they have Amish butter. It's amazing. Amazing. So he went to the wrong place but found cheese. I knew something was going on because we have this app called Live 360. Um, it's not like a tracking service. I mean, I guess it, I guess you could call it a tracking service. Um, it shows each other where we're at. Um, um, so I, I guess it is a tracking service, but it's we don't use it that way. Um, we both travel a lot on the roads, so we just make sure that each other are safe. It's called Life 360. Um, and so it tells me, like it told me when he left the house. So an hour later, he still hadn't gotten to me. And it's only like a 20 minute drive. So I got nervous, you know, because he's out driving. So I checked it out and I saw him that he was in a different town. <laughs> he was in the next town over. So I knew something was up. But what you going to do? I even told him where I was that morning, like when I left, because I called him when I left Kristen's. And, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> He's a funny boy. If you guys don't have Life 360, I highly recommend it. I love it. Um, my whole family uses it. We have a circle. I'm a part of Kristen's family circle. And then I have my, fa my family circle. And um, I love it.
I check on him every once in a while when he's driving, like, down the interstates and stuff. Because I just get nervous. He travels on the most dangerous road in all of Florida. The one with the most accidents and deaths. So I get a little nervous. You know. Bye, Staley. We'll be here, friend. I truly don't care where, you know, where he is. I'm, I don't, I don't track him or anything like that. It's just when I know he's driving, I just check on him every once in a while. It's just good. You know, I, I feel it's just, this is just my opinion, you know, take it or leave it. I just feel in this world that we live in, we're not very safe. I think there's a lot of bad people out there and I feel like knowing where each other is, is safer. You know, we have, I also feel like we have these tools that are, you know, at the ready and let's use them. They're, it's free. There is no cost to it. Now you can buy into like their premium package, which I don't need. So I never bought into it. It's just good to know where family and friends are. I want my mom on it, especially because I, I just, you know, it, it's just one of those things that it just, it's probably silly and it's probably. It's overkill. Like, I know it's overkill. But it makes me feel safer. Especially when I'm driving up to Pam's. Like, it's good for him to be able to see where I am. It's just good to see where each other are. All right. I got all the 12 months and two T's done. Dun, 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 dun. Mmm, coffee. Hold that thought. This is my three T. Got to do. Yeah, it's just, it's not a safe world that we live in right now. And to be honest with you, like, I don't think it ever has been a safe world. I think that there's always been like really bad things out there. It's just now we have internet, we have Facebook and we have TikTok, you know, we have all of that stuff that makes it the the news go around so fast. Like, you know, stuff that happens in California, here in Florida, we know about. Whereas probably a year ago, a year ago, I don't know why I said a year ago, probably 20 years ago, we never would have known, you know, or, you know, 50 years ago, we would have never known about Hurricane Fiona hitting um, Canada, stuff like that. Back in the 70s and 80s, you know, this kind of thing happened nonstop, right? Um, but we just didn't know about it as a global unit, you know, we only knew about local. So I think it's just the information technology, information, technology, information age that we see it with. I don't know if that makes any sense or not, but I don't know if that makes any sense or not. So I don't know if it's, plus there's just more people in the world today. You know, we're a lot more mobile. We have planes, trains, and automobiles and just, just stuff like that. I just feel that, you know, people are able to move easier around and this is the bad tool. This is the bad tool. 
anyhow, it's just my opinion. So I just like to know where my family members are. I like to, I don't care where they are. I, sh I should say that differently. I don't care where they are as long as they're safe. I just want to know they're safe. So my sister's on it. Terry and I, I'm trying to get my mom. Anyhow, back to what I was saying. Call it the It's doo-doo tutu. It's doo-doo tool. Like BB craft doo-doo tool. Every time I, I say BB crafts, I get it stuck in my head to the rhythm and song of Baby Shark. This is doo doo tool for sure. It's two two doo doo. Hey. Stacy, I'm sorry I didn't see you come in, friend. How are you? Sorry about that. I wasn't ignoring you. I just didn't see you come in. Sometimes when my eyes are trained on this, I don't see it. Hi, sweet girl. Can I get you on some new meds? Can I get you a bath? You want to do some scrubbing bubbles? Yeah? Can I get you a bath? Can I get you on some new medicines? Okay. I just have to get used to um, this new setup. It's it's freaking me out a little bit, but I have to get used to where all the new stuff is because it's it's essentially just mirrored, you know. Dana, where do I purchase my tool from? Um, if I had it my way, I would purchase only from Gifts International. However, sometimes they're out and I need a special color, a certain color, and I have to go to BB Crafts. And I've said it before, I'm going to say it again. Gibson International looks like a steal until you get in and um, see how much shipping and handling is. But it equals out to be right around the same price as BB Crafts. BB Crafts is a lot more expensive per unit. Their shipping is good. Um, BB Crafts, just their tool has not, has been, has been consistently bad, consistently bad. Now I did get two bolts of tool from Gibson International that were bad, but as a whole, theirs is much better than BB Crafts. Plus it's not folded. BB Crafts folds theirs for easier shipping, less expensive shipping, which I understand and appreciate, but it just, it's flimsy. It's just not good. It's just not good. And I think um, Lisa, Lisa said makes a very good um, point to try their eBay store. The way I look at it is, is I think it's going to be the same price everywhere you go because they're going to get their money. Don't you doubt that? Whether it's on eBay, whether it's on this or that, they're going to get their money. They're going to make the same amount for everything. You know, it just is what it is. You just, you just got to know a tool is going to be X amount and you're going to pay that no matter what, no matter how it's divvied up. Um, because their shipping is better on eBay, but their prices are more expensive per unit. They're going to get paid no matter how you do it. Let 
matter how you look at it, they're going to get paid. They are, that's what their business is. They're in the business to make money. They are, they're not going to not make their cash. So. Ooh, Michelle, that's a good point. Police is on sale at Joanne's. I didn't know that. You're fine, Stacy. I appreciate the support. Y'all, we got 29 thumbs up. Good job. Thank you guys, all of you, for that. I, it, it wouldn't happen without you guys, obviously, right? Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. No, I have not because I have a ton still of Madeira. I'm not in need of, of thread yet. So the next one, the next time I need thread, I'll probably order from there. I just love Madeira thread. It is, it is butter. It just glides. I use it on my sewing machine. I'm using it right now on my sewing machine. My sewing machine loves it. My sewing machine loves it. So does my embroider. So do my embroidery machines. Uh oh, spaghettios. Oh, that would be great, Kathleen. The next time I order thread, I need to also order a 7.25 7.25 Mighty Hoop. If anybody has a 7.25 square Mighty Hoop that they are no longer using, or they are looking to get rid of, I would love to buy it from you. I would love to buy it from you if you guys have it and are not using it. I would buy it from you in a heartbeat. It's a 7.25 square. It's a blue, blue hoop. I have two, but I'm in need of a third. Is it cheaper for Madeira? I always go through United because um, it's in Florida and I get it the next day. I get, I get next day shipping just because it's in Miami. Um, so that's why I've always done that one. I, I didn't know that it was cheaper from Madeira. I, I didn't, honestly didn't know you could order it from Madeira. I'm, I'm a little behind the times, I guess. I did not know that you could order it from Madeira. I always go in the one of the main reasons I go through well, other than I get it next day, um, is that I can get my mighty hoops and my um thread at the same time. And if I get a mighty hoop and if I order enough thread, which I usually have to, um, I get free shipping. So that's usually why I get free shipping and it's, 
you get loyalty points and all that good stuff. That's why I go with, with um, United. Crap. On a cracker. Hey, Alicia, how are you? This is no longer working. Hang on. Okay, maybe that'll work better. have anything against it. I just didn't know that you could do it. I just had no clue. Hey, Marissa. How are you? We mentioned the name Alicia earlier and Alicia appeared. We weren't talking about you, Alicia, just the name, the name. Someone went, went to spell Amish and it came up Alicia. And I thought you were here. I was like, oh, Carolyn will probably still be here. I was about to ask where you were, Michelle. My sidekick is being quiet. You are magic, friend. You are very magical. What color are you painting it, Leslie White? Oh, that's going to be pretty. I can't wait to see pictures. Hey, Kenny. Hey, Kiki. Kenny, you better be good for mommy today. Oh, thank you for replying. I'm glad you're doing good.
Keeks and I have another um, craft show coming up, not this Saturday, but next Saturday. I got to get busy. I got to get busy. I got to get busy. I don't know how many. Sometimes I wonder why I do this to myself, and then I remember it's because I'm crazy. It's just because I'm crazy. And apparently a masochist. Leslie, I use um, Ikea, uh, Linman Desk, Alex Drawers. Snortle. <laughs> well, how did I make you snortle? <laughs> hey, Gail. Welcome. Oh, Michelle, that's what I need up here. Time can stand still and I can get all my orders done. <laughs> and then come out and have all the time to spend with Terry. That sounds like a plan. That sounds like a plan. I know, but how did I make you laugh? What did I say that was so funny? Hey, that's fine. And you got to sometimes you could just have to like the way I look at it is sometimes you have to cut costs somewhere and you know what's right for you. You know what's right for you. I need to vacuum up here so bad. Um, I had 19 to go out on Monday that got out. Today I have 10. 
So today feels like a little bit of a break. Tuesday, I got all those out on Monday. Tuesday, I went over to Kristen's house and started working on craft fair stuff and helping her. You guys, when she, you, okay, can you guys do me a huge favor? An absolutely huge favor. That reminds me. Give me one second. Let me, um, let me get the URL. Let me get the URL. Hold on just one second. I need you guys to do me a big favor. Can you go to this shop? And. And give it a like. follow her shop for. She's just now getting, uh, this is Kristen, my one of my best friends. I have been trying um, and work, we've been working together, getting her to learn her machine. She is doing amazing. You should see some of the designs she's making right now. Um, but if you could go through and give her a follow, it would help her shop so very much. Um, she still hasn't gotten her first sale. So we're trying really, really, really hard to get her shop up and going. Her name's Kristen. Um, is Bougie Bell's Boutique, but it's Bell on here, but it's, it's her company's Bougie Bell's because she couldn't get the S on it for Etsy. Um, if you guys could go in and like that, and maybe if you could favorite, um, if you guys could favorite maybe some of her items, especially her, uh, she's got Mercat, uh, cut cakey cat, Gabby and Pandy. If you guys could like those ones, that would be fantastic. Kristen, is it bad? I just got your text. Are you, are you okay? You guys, it would help her out and I would, tr I would truly appreciate it. Because I know when I first got started, a lot of people liked my shop and it seemed to help a lot. Thank you, guys. It means the world. Hope she's not mad at me. <laughs> She's on here. She can't. She's watching it on her 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 TV, so she can't comment. But she can hear me. I see. Thank you, guys. Well, that's cool, Stacy. I like that for you. That's awesome. I did licensed stuff for years. For two years, I did licensed stuff. And to be honest with you, if I wouldn't have gotten smacked by Etsy, I would still be doing it. There is so much money to be made in that. And a lot of us just need to make that money. You know, I'm doing really well now without the license stuff. But let me tell you, for the first like three months of not having the, the license stuff up, I suffered greatly, greatly. My shop suffered. Um, but now it's picked back up. I figured out what to do. Give me just one second. Let me grab a, I got to get a garbage can of sorts. It's okay, baby. It's okay. 
I know that was scary, huh? I just snuck up behind you. I just snuck up behind you and made you all scared. Is that what happened? Hmm. Is that what happened, monkey? Oh, baby girl. Okay. This is a hot mess up here, y'all. Hot mess. Let me catch up. Let me see. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Michelle, there's always other mention there's always stuff that they didn't tell you because I got turned in four times. I got four. I got four nasty grams. And then, um, for four different things for, uh, Lego, Batman, Gabby's Dollhouse. And I want to say Hello Kitty. I can't remember. I think it was Hello Kitty. Those are the ones that got me. And then I just made the decision to just stop worrying about it. Once you get your shop up and going and you're established, it's easier. It's much easier that way. Um, so I'm taking to the craft fair, I'm taking, um, keychains that I have made. I've made so many of them throughout the years. I really sold a ton of them on Saturday. Um, and then dog bandanas and dog bow ties and matching scrunchies. And matching scrunchies. That's what, that's what I'm taking. Yeah, I, I, I'm not the one to talk to you about the licensed. I know some people are dead set against it. Um, I, I did it in my shop. You know, I got busted. I didn't, they didn't take my shop away or anything like that. They just deactivated those things. Um, but 
If my nerves could have handled it for longer, I would have gone longer. My nerves could have handled it. I would have gone on longer, but the last one really got my attention. So. Yeah, uh, mine was, uh, I think, Universal. I think Univ whoever owns Gabby's Dollhouse was the one that got me. Um, but it was weird because I had like 25 Gabby listings and they only put down three of them. But they shut down three. So I was like, you know what? I could, I could just keep selling the other ones that weren't deactivated. I could take that chance, but I decided not to. I just decided that I was tired of worrying about it. And I was at a point where things were so crazy here that if my shop took a hit, which it did, it took a, a couple of month hits for a couple of months. It took a pretty big hit. Um, but now we're up and going and we're fine. Um, so... I was at a point where if it took a hit, it took a hit. I had other stuff I could do. I could help Chris. I got to help Kristen a lot. And now we're back up and going. So, so now I'm, I'm just working like extra triple thousand bazillion hard because I'm still getting the same amount of Etsy orders that I was in the beginning, like before I took all the license stuff out. And um, hey, Lou. So I'm still doing all of that and then still trying to spend a day or two at Kristen's. Just trying to keep and doing craft fairs now because <laughs> I'm crazy. I'm absolutely insane. Insane. So. Yeah, they de deactivated only one of them. Did you, did you take that as a hint and, and deactivate the rest of them that had that? Because that's what, when they did Batman, I got rid of, I had three Batmans. They they only confiscated and deactivated one of them. Um, same thing for Lego. Lego, I had three and they only took one of them away. But I still deactivated all the rest of the Legos. Hello Kitty will get you. Hello Kitty and John Deere. Hey Keeks. Keeks is in the house. Keeks is in the house. Hers is actually going to be like a mama and me boutique. Yeah, John Deere doesn't play either. I wouldn't, I would not touch John Deere or Hello Kitty with a 10 foot pole or Star Wars. Mm -mm. Baby Yoda? Nope. No way, Jose. It wasn't Hello Kitty, it was Star Wars that got me. It wasn't Hello Kitty, it was Star Wars for Stormtroopers. They got me for stormtroopers. And I didn't even use the name store stormtroopers. I used uh, a alien soldiers or something like that. I can't remember. Um, and they got me for the image.
Teeks is in the house. Thank you guys so much for helping her shop out. We're trying so hard to get her her first sale. Leslie will be. You guys, you guys get to meet each other. And I'm pretty sure. I just, I, Leslie, I just line it up correctly. Um, I know that's probably not the answer you were looking for, um, but I just line it up with my presser foot and um, the markings on my machine, on my, my plate. And then I, I fold them together. Like I just pull it up and I fold it. I fold it to where I like them like that. And then I just zip down. I get confused if I sew the channel first on which way to sew the, the ribbons on. So this is just the way I do ugh, just the way I do it. Kristen, check your text. Let me go grab some more tool, you guys.
Okay. Hey, Marge. Yeah, I've been live for two and a half hours. I was actually up earlier than that, but I didn't know that anybody would join me that early. And I didn't want to be like, la, 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 talking to nobody. Because that's, I mean, like, I'm still talking, like, here. There's nobody here. But it seems, like, unbearably strange to talk to when there's nobody even on the computer. <laughs> If you, those of you who are new, um, I just, because we've got, a, it looks like a whole bunch of more people here now than there were. This is Kristen's link, a link to Kristen's shop. If you haven't already, if you could go and give her shop a follow and maybe like her Gabby's dollhouse stuff, um, that would be hugely appreciated more, more than you guys could ever even know how much it would be appreciated. Thank you, Kristen, for the, the reminder for the thumbs up. Thank you guys. I really appreciate it. But make sure if you guys could at least like her shop for her. Yes, let's get to 65 likes. That's my girl. All right. Let's figure this. Luca decided to bury herself in this one. So let's see how this goes. I, have, I, I did the um, lint roller thing on it to get all of her little hairs off of it. So. So after this is a four, this is a five T and then after this one, I have to do a size eight, which is very, very large. I don't like doing them over a size. I don't really don't like doing them over a size four. Size four is like my, my limit, but I still do them. I, and I'll do them as, as far as I can because like I said in my previous live, um, you know, I was, I was obviously, obviously a big girl growing up and I couldn't have the cute stuff because I was so big. So if I can make a little girl happy by making a bigger size, then I'm going to try my best. So the size, size eight, like for a, like the cow print tutus that, um, um, I, um, that's an eight is the biggest I can do on that one. I can have more control if I do like a rainbow one or something with different late, like, uh, different colors. I can do it like that. Um, so that I can go up to a size 12 or 14, but uh, the actual, all one, one style, like one, one tool, one color, I can't do past an eight. Hey, Sam, I can't do past an eight. I'm just not good enough at cutting tool. And maybe one day when I get to be like Tam, Tam, Pam and Cassandra, maybe I can. Because goodness knows I'm getting enough practice right now. Right? Enough practice right now. Though I think right now, I think I'm making more tutus than Pam is. Pam's making a ton of aprons. You guys know that. But I feel like I'm getting more, I feel like I'm doing more tutus than, I don't know. Also, I've got to do a couple of aprons. And some towels um, for the craft fair on next Saturday. And then I've got, I opened the baby shops back up, the baby shop and the pup shop back up. And um, 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 I don't even remember what I was saying. Oh, I opened the baby shop back up. So So 
Sorry, I had to answer. So anyways, so I have blankets to do is where I was going with that. Sorry, I'm, I'm trying to check the baby shop real quick. Because it sneaks up on me. Yep, I got another order. Okay, it sneaks up on me and I'm like, ah, and all of a sudden it's like, oh my God, I've got all these blankets and I don't know how to get them all done. And You know how it goes. We should do hooded towels, girlfriend. There's lots of peekers in that, that disc I gave you. Got five blankets to do. No, my mom bought two. I have seven blankets to make. Hey, Maria, got seven blankets to make. And I'm gonna spend tomorrow with Kristen, hopefully, if I can get all this done. I don't know how to do it all. Danny, why do you not have your shop in the description so we can go look at it? It's a good question. Let me get them for you. I'll put them in here. Something is going on here. I don't know what's up. I don't know what is up. So the, the dog bandana shop has um, got very little in it because I'm selling so many of them at the um, craft fair that I didn't want to, crap, excuse me, I said the wrong thing. I, I said crap, I shouldn't have said that. Um, um, hold on, I can only do one thing at a time. I can no longer do all of this. Hang on. Hang on. Here's my Sweet Fred's gift shop. Here is my baby shop. And there is the pup shop. Thank you, Leslie. <laughs> Those are all of my shops. So have mercy on the pup shop. It, it is not doing well. It has not done well since day one. But I still keep it going. In the hopes that somehow, some way, it just picks up. I've had one sale, one sale in like six months, and it was my aunt. Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. <gasps> Kristen got her first sale. <laughs> uh. You guys, Kristen got her first sale. You guys. What did you sell? Kristen got her first sale. Let's get a round of applause for Kristen. Y'all, this is huge. 
Yay! That's okay. I have one you can buy. Or we can trade. All right. Yay! All right. I'm so excited. All right, bye. You guys, she got her first sale. I am so excited for her. Hey, Pam Lamb. Pam, Kristen got her first sale. I'm so excited for her. Oh, you guys don't even know. This makes me so happy. I, I love it. I love it when when somebody's doing well like it just it makes me so happy thank you guys for liking her stuff and shoving her up there i oh this just this makes me so happy you guys just don't even know how happy this makes me for her oh and it's so funny because she sold a um a unicorn and the first thing i ever sold was a unicorn so this is awesome <laughs> i'm so excited for her so excited. I, I can't stop grinning. I can't stop smiling. Oh, don't put that out there. <laughs> I'm sorry you went through that, Maria. Kristen, what size shirt was it? I already for I didn't I forgot to ask you. I need to make sure I can bring over the right size tomorrow for you. Three T. Let me go pull it right now. Hold on. You're fine. I'm not going anywhere, baby. I'm just getting shirt. See? I'm just coming right here. And I got it. Hi, Lulu. I got it, Kristen. I pulled it. I pulled it for you, Kristen. Oh, I hate it when that when that happens, Michelle. That's okay. She can have them. I'll bring more. We have tons of them here because of all the work Terry does from home. So we always have tons of notebooks. T 
tons of notebooks. Let that baby color and paint. That's fine. Yeah, I'm I'm not going to let Kristen fail. Not going to happen. She's going to do so amazing. Yep, I hate it when that happens. I've done that before. I've done that on a wholesale order. Then you live and you learn, right? Kristen, are we going to make it tomorrow? Yes, we can. Is your roller printer working? Oh, we got to sign you up with Pirate Ship. We got, okay. Girlfriend, we're going to settle it all up tomorrow. Don't you stress. There's a lot to set up from your... You do have Pirate Ship? Okay. There's a lot to set up for with your first sale, but we're going to get it done. Kristen's had an online baby boutique for quite a while. Um, she's just, um, um, just now doing Etsy. So it's her first Etsy sale. I can't stop grinning. <laughs> Pam, are you getting coffee? I'm pumped. I'm pumped for you, girlfriend. I'm pumped for you. Yay for coffee. All right, Marge. We are, we will be on for quite a while, I feel. I um, I've got a lot of work to catch up on. A lot of work. I'm not behind, but I'm not ahead. And I don't like that. I like being ahead of orders. I like getting things out like two or three days early. And I'm, I'm while I'm not late getting them out now, I'm not early, that's for sure. And it's driving me bananas. Under promise and over. What's the word I'm looking for? Whatever the word I'm looking for is. Under promise and over deliver. That's what the word is. I under promise what time it'll be there. And then I over, then I over produce it or whatever. Deliver. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Hey, Barb, how are you? Happy Thursday. That means it's almost Friday.
I was gonna just do something and I can't remember what it was. I'm I'm you know what it is, is I'm still trying to catch up on sleep. Um Okay, now, now, I, I'm just having like severe brain fog, like I can't. I can't remember what I was doing or saying or I don't feel like super tired. I feel groggy still. Still feel a little groggy. Um, which is not unusual because I don't sleep very well to begin with. So when I lose sleep, it's even worse, but I just don't sleep very well. Um and then now I'm having trouble like multitasking, which I've never had problems with before. Yay, coffee. I got coffee keeks. Can you see your baby? Luca, Kiki says hi. We'll say hi, Keeks. Aunt Keeks says hi. She doesn't feel good. She does not feel so good. Hi, Kenners. Kristen, I told Terry. <laughs> I'm going to have to go downstairs and get my, I left all my bobbins and stuff downstairs. I got to go downstairs and get bobbins pretty soon. Not right. Not, not immediately. And then I'm going to have to make another coffee. Um, so not, not immediately, just in general, probably when I finish this tutu, probably when I finish this toot. And then the only one I have left is the size eight. And then, um, I've got to sew them. I've got to string them all, sew them closed, package them all, and this will get me caught up.
Yes, I got all my bobbins back from Kristen, and then I left them in the box. I left them downstairs. <laughs> I felt so bad. Kristen was like, I need to clean up my studio. I need to organize it. And I'm like, all of my crap is <laughs> sitting in your studio. I'm so sorry. Welcome back, Staley. felt so bad. I got all my crap out of her studio. Well, the majority of it. I'm sure I still have some crap there. I leave stuff everywhere I go, whether I mean to or not. I'm sure I have stuff in her, her studio right now as we speak. How'd it go, Staley? You'd be a good leader. You got this, Staley. It is okay. Being uncomfortable and scared is a growth medium. In all honesty, it'll help you grow. However, I have to tell you that I would be so excited to be led by you. I think that you're going to make an awesome leader. My personal opinion, of course. My personal opinion. You're good, Staley. We can all learn something from that. I hate speaking in front of people. Believe it or not. I was terrified to do vlogs. Y'all should see. Those of you who haven't, I'm sure you guys all have because you guys are here on my live. So you know my channel. Um, my first couple of vlogs that I did, I was terrified absolutely terrified.
My first live was really bad. <laughs> really bad. And then the live after I got a verbally attacked or computerly attacked, it was verbal. I mean, if they could have been talking, they would have been talking, but um, that was hard to come back from. But I did it. I almost gave up YouTube over that. Hey, Cecilia. Hey, Kayla. Hey, guys. I didn't know you were watching me back then, Michelle. I didn't know you back then. Like I know you now. were more lurky then. <laughs> Don't lurk. Come out and talk. It's more fun when you talk. It was pretty bad, but we're good. The problem does not lie within me. It lies within them. That's what I have to remember when stuff like that happens is that it's not me. It's them, but it is what it is. I came back from it. And I'm still here. So and in all honesty, they're probably still doing what they do just to other people. In all honesty, that's what bullies do. That's what bullies do. That's what bullies do. They just move on to the next target. Once that target's done, they move on to the next. Michelle, I'm glad you're not lurky anymore. I don't know, Michelle. Phone still charging. I wish I was an out of the box thinker. I'm very much a box thinker in the box. You guys hear Luca snoring? She is snoring away. She's so cute. 
she is so stinking cute. Look. You guys see her cute little face? Oh, little girl. Go back to sleep, baby. Isn't she just the cutest thing ever? I mean, I know I'm biased, but I think she is just the cutest thing ever. She is adorable. She's so cute. I'm a little biased, but I, I do think she's adorable. <laughs> I can't believe she sleeps up here with me talking all the time and the machines. Now I have the size eight. Now I have the size eight. Y'all, y'all are going to hear my stomach growling. It's going to be so loud. <sighs> I have to go get another coffee. As a matter of fact, do you guys mind hanging on for just a second? We have 46 thumbs ups. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Cecilia, you were watching back then too? Is Liz here? All right, you guys have a good time together. Please try to play nicely. <laughs> I've got to go get another coffee. Got to use the restroom real quick. I've got to get my bobbins. There's one more thing, I can't remember what it is. I'll be right back.
All right, we're back. I never figured out what the fourth thing was, so um, I guess we'll figure it out later when I forget when I figure it out. All right, what did I miss out on? The mice will play. Did you guys have fun? Hopefully you had fun. Hey, Kelly. Hey, Kelly, I friend requested you on Facebook. Sorry if it was weird. <laughs> But it was me. <laughs> Yay, Leslie. I didn't want you to think it was weird. This one is too big to just sail through. I have to do it piece by piece. And, and is the crap tool on top of that. Kelly, were you there with Kayla? Do you, do you know Kayla Creasy? All right, let's try it this way. Maybe this way will work better. It's this, it's too long. I love Kayla, she's one of my good friends. She is the best. Bye, Cecilia. Thank you for stopping by, friend. She has the best heart. Yay, Cynthia, for being back. Um, tutus, I've learned from watching Pam. That's how I learned. I watched Pam. Pam has got, a Sterling Style, has got a ton of really great... Um, tutorials on it. I use a combination of um, I use a combination of um, Pam and Cheryl. Cheryl at Cheryl and Pam. I use a combination of their um, measurements for my tutus. Oh, dear Gussie. Note to self, don't ever do a size 8 tutu on the bad tool. Common sense, Danny. Okay, bad tool multiplied, that's for dang sure.
This one's gonna give me a fit. This is driving me bananas. And I didn't have been sewing with no bobbin. How far back does it go? Crap on a cracker. Crap on a cracker. Y'all heard it here first. It's been in the 80s here. It's kind of fallish. Kind of. Kind of, sort of. I'm so glad, Kelly. I'm so glad you got to meet Kayla. I, don't you just love her? Isn't she just so loving? Like, I could just squeeze her. She's so sweet. I could just squish her. I wish I could have made it down there. But it's like a four and a half hour, five hour trip from me. I was going to go down and meet her for dinner and stay the night. But then she talked me out of it. And then I had a craft fair. Goodness gracious. Goodness gracious. Yeah, she's amazing. I love Kayla. I love her. She's got this just the best heart in the whole wide world. She's just such a big heart and she's so sweet. I wish I could be half as sweet as she is. I gotta go get another pink. I'm sorry, Your Highness. I'm sorry, Your Highness. I did not mean to disturb you, Luca.
Did not mean to disturb her highness, but I did. Yeah, I love Kayla. She um she's quickly become a good friend of mine. Truly and really seriously and truly. What am I doing? Oh, because I woke Luca up? Yeah, I'm a bad mommy. Or what did I do? Oh, I did. I know. I'm a, I'm a bad mommy. I'm evil. Waking my baby up like that. She's sound asleep. She's so because of her knees and her hips, she's on um, a very low dose of a very, very, very weak um, pain medication every day. Um, it's called gabapentin and she's on a very small amount, especially for her size. Um, and her prescription hasn't come in yet. So she's, she's as of this morning she doesn't have any so I called her vet and I have to go pick some up today I'm gonna go pick it up in time for her to have it tonight with dinner hey Joanna I'm a horrible mom. I let her run out of it. And um, I feel really bad about that. It was supposed to be in yesterday and it didn't come in. So the vet didn't have any in. They're getting theirs in today as well. So. I'm going to pick it up. Luca, leave it. Leave it. Good girl, Lulu. Moo cow. This is crap tool. It's giving me a beat down, man. Oh no. I'm sorry I have to go to the dentist. Put on, you know what I put on at the dentist? I put on 90s rap, gangster rap. It helps <laughs> somehow. <laughs> Good luck. Thanks, Kelly. I wish you good luck.
Okay, I fixed that. Okay. Oh. All right. finish this guys I can't multitask I don't know what's happened to my brain but I can no longer multitask oh you're so sweet Leslie you can make it I'll teach you you can FaceTime me and I'll teach you I will tell you, it's not that difficult once you get the hang of it. I know right now I'm, I'm not living that dream, but in all reality, it, it is. Once you get the hang of it, it's easy. If you have a good tool. And it's not a size eight. Those are my two. <laughs> I just need a minute. This one's killing my back because it's so big. I think I got it too sweet. Yep. I wait for it to water down some. Woo! I must have miscounted my pumps. Though I will tell you, it's better to learn on the, oh my gosh, that's so sweet. Blah, 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 blah. It's better off to learn on the crap tool because you're going to have crap tool in your life. And that way when you get good tool, it's like, oh, so easy. Yeah, I'm pumped up. <laughs> I pumped it. I pumped it too much. Of this, I'm sure. Almost done. We are not almost done.
I'm so excited for you, Keeks. She got her first sale, Leslie. I told you it was happening. It's going to happen, Keeks. Sherry is in the house. Shoot, it didn't even buzz. Got it, got it, got it, got it. All right, I gotta cover it. Well, maybe not. Gotta cover you guys a little bit with tool for just a second. Hang on, I'm trying. This is, we're almost done with this one this part of it. I just took a needle to the finger. Well, if I was not awake, I am 
wide awake now. Damn. I mean, wide awake. Whew. Not bleeding very much. I've, got, I've already stopped the bleeding, but dang. If I weren't live, my mouth would have just gone. Oh, man, that hurts. I got to get this thing finished. This thing is. Wow, 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 that's burning. At least it's not bleeding anymore. I don't know if this desk is going to work this way, to be honest with you guys. I just don't know. Wow. Mm, I'm okay. Yeah, my mouth would have gone it would have been um, demonetized, thrown me out. I would have been kicked out of YouTube forever. YouTube would be like, we, she is not invited back. Dang, that burns. It went like straight through and back out, like through my cuticle on the side. So it's not bleed. I mean, there's no blood. It just really hurts. All right. In fact, the longer I sit here, the worse it's hurting. It's all right. We got to get this done. We don't have a choice. This has got to go in today's mail. All of these have to go in today's mail. So we don't have a choice. Yeah, I'm okay. Hey, Oki gal. No, Lisa, I took a needle to the finger. It went straight in my finger and straight back out. It's a considerate machine like that. This tutu is going to be the death of me. Size eight, Leslie. It's a size eight. Normally, I, I don't like them, but this one I made on the stupid crap tool. So I'm having to really fight it. I'm having to really fight it. Remind me, note to self, never to use crap tool on a size six or eight.
Didn't even buy me a drink. Nope. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. I do. This is with static spray. It's, it's just, it's the tool. The tool is super soft. Um, it's just not good tool. I'm going to struggle with it to the very end. Oh, was it Leslie? Oh, Leslie. Oh, Leslie. Leslie, you have the best heart. Oh, Leslie, it was your first sale, and she got to see how excited we got. How cool is that? I'm going to go downstairs when this is all over done. Um, when this is all over and done, I'm going to throw away every single crap tool I have. I'm going to toss it all. Like I'm literally going to go through everything and toss out every single one of them. That's how I feel. Um, my crap tool comes from BB Crafts. My opinion, my experience. I should see this thing. It's such a mess. Hopefully when it's all pleated and flared and fixed or poofed, whatever, you, however you want to call it, it'll look good. If not, I'm going to end up having to remake it. I feel like I'm happy to remake it. I feel like I'm going to have to remake it. I'll bring it to you to practice on because I hate it.
Kristen, we got to get tutus up in your shop. What am I doing? I need to put on top of the laundry for the fact that either do laundry or be naked. I'd rather be naked than do laundry. I'd rather scrub toilets at McDonald's than do laundry. Literally, I would rather scrub a toilet at McDonald's than do laundry. And I'd rather do laundry than paint. So. Hey, Rhonda. I'd rather clean your dogs than do laundry. Okay, we're almost done. Just have to figure this out. You know what? Is done. I'm fairly certain. Fairly certain I'm going to have to redo that one. So not too excited yet. I think that one's going to look like crap. And I just refuse to send anything that doesn't look 100% right. So I'll probably end up redoing it. I just refuse to send anything that's not my best. Now I've got to string them all, sew them shut. And apparently go get some new coffee because that coffee is god awful. Iris! Hi Iris, I was just thinking of you. I was folding up a tutu and putting it under my chin like I do. And I was like, where's Iris to make fun of me for this? It's like I'm missing Iris. She makes fun of me when I do this and now I need to see it. Okay. All right, sorry. Let's see. Oh, that's awesome, Rhonda. I was Iris. I was like, where is she? Hey, Deborah. How are you? I'm a good cook. I'll tell you that right now. Let 
me start by sewing this one closed. Got to get all these done so I can go spend tomorrow with Kristen. <sighs> Got to do all this so I can spend tomorrow with Kristen. So all of these bad boys shut. <laughs> Where am I? How much dang elastic does that thing take? It takes 23 inches of elastic. It takes 15 yards of tool, 30 yards of ribbon, 23 inches of elastic. And more patience than I currently have. <laughs> than I currently have. Oh, well, thank you, Iris. I cook for Kristen sometimes. I love cooking at Kristen's house. I really do. I love cooking. Because when I cook here, it's just for me and Terry. But when I go to Kristen's house, it's for her, her husband, and her baby. Well, she's not really a baby anymore. For Kinley. For Kenners. I just love cooking. I, I, I do love it. I, I very much enjoy it. I love going over to Kristen's and cooking. So yeah, I was working with 15 yards of really bad tool and it was, it was about to do me in, to be honest with you. So almost two feet of elastic, apparently. Apparently almost two feet of elastic.
It is getting toasty up here. Toasty. Turn the air down. Don't tell Terry. Mmm, apple crisps. Tis the season. This is my favorite month. I love October. October hockey starts. We start getting a little bit, usually, cooler weather. Not cold, by the way. Maybe in the 80s. Maybe 70s if we're high 70s if we're lucky. I can start going back to Disney because it's calmed down some there and it's not as hot. And did I mention hockey? I mean, did I mention hockey's back? I don't know if I mentioned that. I don't know if I mentioned that hockey's back. But hockey's back. Yeah, no, I'm not cooking for everybody. We're going to go out. <laughs> We're going out. We're going out. <laughs> Yeah. As a matter of fact, I haven't even made my um my reservations yet for Disney for when we're all going. Um because my so we're supposed to go the third, fourth, third and fourth, or the second and third, or maybe it's the second, maybe it's the first and second. I honestly can't remember. Uh, to be dead honest with you, I cannot remember when we're going. We're going that Wednesday, that Thursday and Friday. But my passes are set to renew that Monday um, because that's when my year is up. So it's not letting me make my reservations yet. And I'm not paying extra to do. I pay enough to Disney. Disney gets a huge chunk of my money. Don't, don't ever think that that's not the truth. Cause Disney, Disney gets a lot of my money. Um, I just don't want to give it to them early. Isn't that awful? That's an awful thing to say, but I just don't want to. I don't want to give them extra money. It's bad enough. I spend $6 on a Coke when I'm in the parks. They don't need a couple of weeks early. Laundry. Yay. Good job. Lisa, do you want to um, put a link to your shop? You're a mod. You can put a link to it. We can go like it. I can go like it. You're a mod. You can add a link. That's okay. We can still like it. If you want to share it, if you would want to wait and share it, then you can wait and share it on it because there will be another live coming up, I'm sure. I'm sure there will be another next week. The lives may be few and far between, if any, because I've got to bust, but to get all this stuff done for a craft fair. And I'm going to spend some time at Kristen's house getting ready for it. I know. So I've got to be able to bust, but so there, 
I don't know. Every time I say that, I end up doing a live. So I don't know. I'm not very, um, dude, that hurts. That hurts. That hurts something awful. You're so funny. Remember her shop is new, guys. No no harsh judgments, which I don't think any of you guys would do, but that's brand spanking new. I'm going to have to go look at it my own self. Hey, Tina. Day is going fantastic. Thank you. All right, Lisa, I took care of you. Y'all go check out Lisa's too. Got your back, Jack. Leslie's a great human. Let me catch up with you guys. Looks good, Lisa. I'm proud of you. Truly am. All well, my girls are doing good, getting their shops going, looking good. Kristen, email me your banners. Okay. 
if you're still on. I think you're still on. If you're still on, email me your banners. I'm going to have Terry take a look at them and size them so we can put them on. Um, send me the banner that you that you want on the top of your shop that we were talking about, the ones that don't fit right. Um, and I'm going to see if Terry can... Um, if Terry can resize it in his program, um, like he did mine to fit your Etsy shop. Oh, uh, thank you. Thank you, Lisa. Oh, we got 52 thumbs up. Holy moly. Holy moly. That's crazy. Good times. Yeah, Evelyn. Oh, hi, Evelyn. I didn't see you come in. Yeah, that was for a size eight. Trying to fix your button. Okay, let me know when your button's fixed. I'm just stringing some tutus. That's all I've got going on. Stringing some tutus. I feel like my life is a giant tutu. Not that my life looks like a tutu or feels like a tutu. What I mean by that is I feel like that's all I ever do anymore is make tutus, which I'm fine with. I'm actually blessed by it. So it doesn't bother me. It just seems like that. I love this bodkin. I use it both for tutus and for scrunchies. I love it. It works so much better. So much better than the... Um, The two safety pin method. It works so much better than the two safety pins, which I did for years. And then I saw Anita using this and I, was, I sent her a message, I texted her. So I can't remember if I texted her or sent her a message. And I was like, what is that? This is before she announced it on YouTube, what it was. I was like, I have to get that for my tutus. So much faster than the double, um, uh, safety pin. I did get my backup bobkin. It came in yesterday, actually. So glad I found this one. Oh my gosh. I would have been lost without a bodkin for that long. Check the links. Um, can somebody check her links? Lisa's links. Those are my links. Okay, hold on. I'll check it. Give me just one second. Let me sew this up real quick while I've got it in my hands, and then I'll check them. It's Baby Co. That might be why.
Try that one. That one's the baby shop. That's the dog shop. And that's my normal shop. And that's my normal shop. That's the shop that started it all. Started the YouTube channel. I started the YouTube channel first, actually, and then started the shop. Because my shop was originally going to be something completely different. Welcome back, Leslie. <laughs> How many coats do you have to do on it? Like two or three? Yep, those are my shops. Thank you, Lisa. And thank you, Leslie. And thank you, Sherry. You okay, baby? Luca figures my fingers better now. She's left my side. <laughs> you guys can use Vela. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Vela. Let me get a link for you. This is a free service. Um, I use it to bulk edit. Just be very careful because any changes you make on there will change your shop. Just be careful. You heard it here first. Bulk, if you use a bulk editing tool like Vela or Vila, I call it Vela, but it's probably Vila or something that, you know, I'm saying incorrectly. Um, anytime you sync it, it'll save everything to your shop. So beware. But that's how I do all my variations. I don't do variations per listing. I do one bulk. One bulk profile change on Vila. Vela. Vila. Vela. 
Vila, Vela, whatever it is. Because I have almost 300 listings and I'm not, I am not, am not, am not, am not, am not going to go through and change them one by one. Just not going to do it. Oh yeah, you can you can copy current current listings. That should make it a little easier on you. But like anytime I change to a variation, like I just added long sleeve onesies, bodysuits. Excuse me, long sleeve long sleeve bodysuits. I just go into my profiles on Vila, Vela, Vila, Vela, whatever you want to call it, and um, change one variation, change the variations in the profiles, and then sync it, and it saves. You just got to be really, really careful with it. Really careful with it. Because I have wiped out my entire shop before with it and had to restart. Thank God it just deactivated everything. But I just had to go in and activate it all again. But it could have been really bad. So it's just one of those things that makes your life a lot easier. But you have to be like super, super, super careful. I had the biggest panic attack. I thought I had ruined it. Terry calmed me down and showed me how to fix it. Yeah, I, I cried. No doubt. I cried. Like a baby. Like a little bitty baby, I cried. I am not ashamed to admit it.
All right, let's do this size eight. See how much of trouble it gives me. I have a feeling it's going to give me a crap ton of trouble. I hope I'm wrong, but I'm usually, when I have these feelings, I'm usually right. I'm usually dead on with these feelings. I hope I'm wrong. Cross your fingers, I'm wrong. But just from the way it was sewing and stuff, it just, um, it did not, did not feel right. Okay. Hi, Angelise. I didn't see you come in. I'm sorry. Well, thanks, Tina. There's not very many of them on there right now, that's for sure, but we're working on it. Oh, that sounds like fun, Tina. I'm not trying to be all Debbie Downer, but I really just don't have the best feelings about this one. Let's see where we get. Cross your fingers, guys. Yeah, it bit me, that's for sure. You would think that that would be enough trouble for now, right? Like, I don't need any more from it. But I'm sure it's going to be mouthy all the way. It's been mouthy from the beginning. And usually, like, these cow ones are like butter to make. But I'm using the crap tool, which is part of it. Hey, you're on the live and on speaker. I was just calling real quick to see if you want to come over today to get that 20. All right, bye. Oh, I forgot. I'm sorry. I forgot my mom's in a golf tournament. Way to go, Danny. I'm just messing all sorts of up today. This one is not looking pretty. I think I'm going to have to do it over again, guys. Do you need to FaceTime me or do it with me or do we, can we just talk? Hey, Terry, can we talk or do you need me to FaceTime you or duo you? Is it your machine? Duo me, or can you FaceTime? Uh, duo me. Your color thing. Do you mean like the the color names in the computer or in the 
Okay. Okay. Uh huh. Yeah, they only give you nine. I don't know why for a 10 needle they give you nine. I've never understood that. So take it off of number 10. Hit it one time on 10 and then come back and hit whatever number you were trying to anchor and, and anchor it that way. No, don't worry about it. You don't have to, they don't all have to be anchored. You're always going to have one that's not anchored. Okay, try it and see. Uh, it shouldn't say tens unanchored. It doesn't normally say unanchored. I think I'm gonna have to do this two two over again. It changes if you don't have the right one in there, the right number in there. It What it does is it, it automatically forces it to be in there, and it'll change everything that you've got listed already. You have to go in and basically redo the whole thing. Anytime you, you send one through, and if you even if you have, like, you need to check and make sure you have the right numbers in all of them. Um, it'll, it'll, yeah, it'll go through and... Um, It'll force it. Okay. I hear you. Yay. You're welcome. Bye. All right. Let me, let me, let me, let me. We got Kristen all fixed. She's good to go. You're fine, Leslie. You're so good at that. Let's see how bad this tutu looks. see how displeased I'm going to be with it because I feel like I'm going to be very displeased. I don't know why I'm thinking that, but I sure am.
I am severely not happy with this tutu. Severely not happy with it. I'm gonna go ahead and package it up and then I'm gonna take it out probably later today and see how it looks once it comes out of the package, just to see how I feel about it, if I still feel the same way. And if I still feel the same way, I'll just make a new one. It's that simple, we'll just make new ones. Let me, let me, let me, let me. You do. Are you going to the hair store, Kristen? Are you going to the store? I need to Venmo you money if you're going to the store to get me some shampoo. What do you mean you get to do hair, Kristen? Oh, she used to do hair. She's going to do it for her niece. Well, I just told your secret. I don't know if I was supposed to do that or not. Sorry if I wasn't. Kristen is a is a girl of multiple talent, y'all. If I haven't, hadn't been going to the same guy since 2002, for 20 years I've been going to the same guy. I'd be begging Kristen to do mine. But he might kill me if I go somewhere else. He's a personal friend, too, so... Personal friend, 57 thumbs up. Holy crap. We are not that far away from the 65 that Kristen asked for. Kristen asked for 65 when she first got on. And now we're, we're that close. We're only eight away from 65. That's crazy to me. It really does help the channel a lot. Holy moly. That's craziness to me, like in a good way, crazy in a good way, in a fun way. No, he's a good man. He, um, the guy that does my hair, he was um, in New York during 9-11, up close and personal, almost died. So we, um, he's my homie. Darn, that's hurting. So he did my makeup. He does makeup too. He did for my wedding, for my engagement pictures, he did my makeup and my hair. 
for my wedding, he did all of our makeup, all of my bridesmaids, everybody's, my mom's, my, my, my mom's and all of our hair. And he did my sister's entire wedding the same way. There's no way. There it is. Oh, I knew I sew, I had sewn enough for this one. I don't, didn't know where it went. Now I found it. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> You're welcome, Carol. Thanks for coming by. It's only 1230. I've got probably another three hours. It's only 11. It's 1230, girl. 1230 here. Did you guys see the new vlog I released? Had a lot of bummies to do, so I've, I've vlogged them. Now you're back for the long haul, Alicia. Yay! Need to pay more attention, Danny. Better attention, Danny. I put them on wrong sides. Had the wrong side showing. Sixty-one thumbs up. Holy moly. Holy guacamole. Sixty-two. We are sixty-two. We're gonna redo JoJo. Okay. Make a JoJo just with the um, the fabric for now, like a number, and then I'll work with you tomorrow on it. We'll figure it out. We'll figure out how to make it rock.
Yeah, I'll help you with the colors. I'll help you with all of it. I used to make JoJo. See if it's watered down some. Don't get excited, my girl. It's just water. Nothing special. Oh, that is too sweet. Whew. I should be putting coffee in it, but that's downstairs. That is super sweet. After this, I'm going to go and take you guys with me, by the way. You guys are going to go too. Um, first of all, I'm going to wind this up. Wind, ugh. Not talk. I cannot talk today. First off, I'm going to wind a whole bunch of bobbins. And then I'm going to tender touch these shirts and package everything up. And then I'm going to print out some stuff to see where I'm at for tomorrow. Because I may have to work in the morning and then go to Kristen's tomorrow afternoon. I don't know yet. I have to see where I stand. Because i got to get all of this done. Because as much as I want to go to her house and spend all my time there right now, I um, have to get this done. Have to get this done. Oh, I'm gonna bring my stuff. So I'm gonna. I'm probably gonna spend the day cutting um, dog bandanas. In all honesty, but I'm gonna be bringing you some tool apparently, if you want it. Because I'm. I'm seriously. I'm ready to toss it out the door. I am so sick of it. This, that size 822 on the bad tool, and that's my fault, really, really, for doing a size 822 on 
bad tool. I should have, I, I, I wasn't even thinking when I did it. That was, that was totally my fault. I should have known better than that. But now I'm ready to, to kick it all, get it, kick it to the curb. I ordered um, inter fusible interfacing for dog, what do you call them? Bow ties. But I don't know now if I have any fabric for them because I've cut all the fabrics in for um, bandanas. And I'm not going back. I just... I'm not even going to talk about it because if Terry's watching, he doesn't need to know. But I spent, I don't need to go to Joanne's for a while. Let's just leave it at that. I'm so mad at myself. Downstairs is all the, um, the dog bandana stuff that I'm making. My other jukies down there. My baby. It was at Kristen's for a while. It travels with me. It's been to quilt retreats and sewing retreats all over Florida. <laughs> is the size five. Yeah, I've been on a quilt retreat. You guys know um, the Crafty Gemini? Do you guys follow her on, on, on Facebook? Vanessa Vargas Wilson? I went to her quilt retreat. Yep, I went to her quilt retreat. And I saw Melanie Ham speak. Not at the quilt retreat, but just in general. Um, before she passed. And I, I um been to Missouri Star. I've been to all the places. I didn't go to a retreat at Missouri Star. I just went and shopped. <laughs> but that was a that was a different life ago, to be honest with you. I mean, it was a different life ago. Oh, did she? I would go. It was a wonderful retreat. I had I had a blast. I went with a friend of mine that's a huge Dave Matthews band fan too, and we had the best time. It was the best time. Sorry, Luca. Probably just made her angry. Oh well, it'll be fine. Sorry. That's where I got my juki. No, it's a heavy machine. You can ask Kristen. It was a heavy machine. I love my Juki. I, I love it so much. I just bought a second one. I love it so much. I bought a second one. Number two. All right. You guys ready to go with me? There's Lulu. I know, Kristen, you need one for sure. The only reason why I bought a second one is because my first one went down.
and I was stuck without a machine, which we all know now, literally we all know, is it was my fault. Okay. As you all know, it was my fault. And that's okay. I can take blame for it. I've got big shoulders. Okay, okay, okay. That's what I have. I have the TL 2010Q. It is thumb two thumbs up. So good, I bought two. And I could have upgraded when I bought my second one. I could have upgraded to the computerized one, but I didn't want to. I wanted to stay with exactly what I had. I love it. It is my jam. I... Absolutely adore it. Absolutely adore it. The it, it's a really great machine. It can take a licking and keep on ticking. I never oiled one piece of it that had to be oiled, and it only it took seven years for it to um, mess up. <laughs> and then they were able to fix it. So it's not like I mean it cost a pretty penny to fix because what I did to it was very bad. Um, but aside from that, you know, it turned out well it's it's a good machine it's it's pricey it's a thousand dollars um my, which is actually down when i first bought mine i think it was like 13 or 1400 so it's come down in price um it's just a workhorse i mean i put it through glitter ribbon trims i put it through you guys see how many ribbon trims i make on it um you guys see that. It just, um, 63 thumbs up. We're only two away from Kristen's number. We're only two away from Kristen's number. I, in seven years, I've never had to have it repaired except for this once, and it was my fault. It was completely my fault. It had, it was nothing to do with anybody else but me. So I accept that, and I paid for it knowing it, I was angry simply because no one had ever told me to do that there, to, to oil it there. Um, so I was angry for not knowing, but angry mostly at myself for, I guess, not making sure, you know? Yeah, JoJo takes forever. Not as bad as my Candyland. My Candyland takes an hour and 15 minutes. That's why it costs more. Yeah, I've I've always had I had a brother, hated the brother. I'm a brother I love brother embroidery machines. I hate brother sewing machines. 
had a brother. I had three singers. And then the Juki. Now two Jukis. I originally got the second Juki because they weren't sure that they were going to be able to fix that it was repairable. The mistake I made. The mess I made of it. Um, so. There you go. Got those printed. Let's well, make ketchup. A very old bath. Yeah, my grandmother had one. Yep. My Juki will go through 12 layers of denim. 12 layers of denim. If you are looking and thinking about getting a Juki, look up um, Crafty Gemini Juki 2010Q. Um, she, like, she does a really good review on it and I'm uh, literally, I learned a lot. I learned a lot. Kristen, I got your, got your shirt or I should say I got Leslie's shirt. Leslie, you're getting an ARB blank shirt. Kayla, we were talking about you earlier, friend. Were your ears? I was going to text you and tell you we were talking about you, but then I forgot. Are your ears burning, friend? I was. I was talking about you with Kelly, um, embroidery nurse. She was saying how she met you and how sweet you are. And I was like, I know she's sweet. She's my girl. Uh, my Juki was $9.99. My first one was like a lot more than that, but the one I just bought was $9.99. So a thousand. It was it was uh 10 1071 or 11, almost a 1099. 10 10 so it was it was over a thousand with taxes and stuff. She seems like an amazing human. Okay. I am just going to tender touch while we're, while we're all here.
Oh, that's a good deal. $8.99? Heck yeah. I would have bought it from there. Had I known. Had I known, I would have bought it from there. Actually, you know, I did look at Amazon and it was not on sale when I bought mine. Yeah, no regrets. I am. Um... I got a little burned out on computerized machines. Um, I had a motherboard go out on one of my singers, and uh, I was not going to replace it because what I to replace it would have been to replace the motherboard would have been the same amount as getting another machine, a new machine. So I just got a new machine. Um, and then I loved it. I loved it to the very end. Kristen now has it. The, the one that didn't break, obviously. Obviously the one that didn't break. And I loved it very much. But then I got this Juki and I was like, man. Fell absolutely in love with it. It can handle dog collars. It can handle 12, um, 12 layers of denim. Look up. Look, seriously, let me find that. Hold on. Hang on. Let me find that. Hold on. Let me find that for you guys. Here is her. Okay. Hang on. That is not it. Hang on. Hang on. This is not working for me. Give me just one second. Okay, let's try this one. I don't know what that one, forget that first one I posted. Here it is, that's hers. Um, take a good look at it. Um, she does an excellent review. Um, I highly recommend watching it. It's like 13 minutes long. I highly recommend watching it before you buy a Juki. Not because I don't think it's the right one for you because I think it's the right one for everybody, but just because... Um, 
I think that you should know what you're getting into before you buy. That's my opinion. And I got the sniffles still. Seriously. Okay, I don't know how to fix it. <laughs> Can someone look up Crafty Gemini 2010Q and post her review video? Her post of the address. Oh, we got 65. Yay! Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yay. All right. Let's see where we're standing. Okay, let me grab the bags. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. So. Oh, it is the right link? Okay, good. Glad. So thank you, Sherry. <laughs> um, I highly recommend if you are looking to buy a 2010 Q or if you already have one that you watch her review. Um, it's a really good review on the machine. She's the reason I act. She's actually the reason I have it because I I got it at her one of her retreats that I was at. Um, I thought the first one was wrong. I thought I don't know why I thought that, but I did. I don't know why I thought that, but I sure did. I left the tape downstairs. Dang it. D-A-N-G-I-T. Dang it. I need to vacuum up here too. Is anybody good at folding onesies, bodysuits? Kristen, I know you are. You have to teach me how to fold onesies.
Kristen can tell you how not good I am at folding. I've got it down for the shirts that I send out. Like, I know how to fold those, but I don't know how to fold onesies. Like, they just don't cooperate. You guys are so funny. I struggle with the onesies, man. I'd only need it for onesies. I don't need it for any of the other shirts. I got those down pat. It's the onesies I can't fold right. And I sell a crap ton of onesies. are all done. All done. My nephew says, all done. All right, let me grab this. this party started shall we shall we all right this first one is harlow harlow is one and she gets a tutu as well Sorry. I hope that's not super loud. I'm sorry. It pissed Luca off. Excuse me. It made Luca mad. She's not having it. She just got up. I'm so sorry if that's loud. Is that too loud on you guys? I, I have a bunch of them to do, so I'm sorry. You guys may want to turn your computers down a little bit or your phone or tablet because I have to close these boxes up. 
that just looks so loud. I'm going to put you guys, I'm going to put you guys over here for now. You're not going to be able to see me up close. Okay. Um, but it's not going to be right in your face loud. Because it hurts my ears, to be honest with you. Hi, Puka. Hi, Puka. What are you doing? What are you doing? Are you being so silly? sleeve outfit. Hi. It was super loud. So I'm just gonna put you over here for now. Hi, girlfriend. What you doing? Mama's packing up work. Packing up some work. Birthday Scarlet. She gets a tutu. Scarlet gets a tutu. Hi, Lulu. Glad 
wagging your tail all happy. Wagging that tail all happy, girl. That's the one thing I can say about Luca. She's always happy. Except for when she doesn't feel good. All right. You're not right. Yeah. The tail is going. I'm coming, guys. Give me just one second. Hi, Luca. Watch out, girlfriend. Watch out, girlfriend. Sixty six thumbs up. Holy moly. needy today, girlfriend. I know you don't feel good.
What's wrong? What's wrong with you? Are you okay? You're a good girl. All right. I am still alive. You're fine. Are you feeling okay now, Michelle? Baby, you're gonna have to move some, all right? has got to send all these downstairs. And I know that it scares you when I do that, but I don't have a choice because we don't have daddy. Daddy not here to help us downstairs with it all. So I'm gonna toss it and you're gonna get scared and I feel bad, but I don't have a choice. Get back, get back, good girl. that's cleaned up now what let's get everybody from the live back over here let's get you guys back over here now that I can I'm done with that really loud tape now that I'm done with that really loud tape we'll see what we can get into let's see what we can get into what do you guys think She's panicked now. All right, let's see if we can find any of them in here because I feel like I've already done this. There's a six to 12. Two T long sleeve. I've not gotten that one yet. Okay, five. I'm glad you're feeling better. That makes me feel better about it. place an order. We can leave it. Good girl. I see you, monkey butt. I see you, monkey.
I'm just picking up um, I'm just uh, getting shirts picking shirts that's all Oh goodness, what have I done? Uh, I get so frustrated at myself. Let's try this again, shall we? Two teeth, long sleeve, six to 12 month bodysuit. Size eight, long sleeve. Size eight long sleeve, 12 month long sleeve, got it. Six long sleeves, got it, got it. And then that's Kristen's 3T long sleeve for Leslie. Okay, we got it, we got it. The rest of this is extra for some reason. Still don't know how I managed to do that. So that one's folded. That one's folded. All right, let me catch up. Ba -ba -da -da. Right? I can just like send them down the stairs instead of just like chucking them. Because I was chucking them earlier. Let me get my machines turned on and oiled. I've got these two twos done. I've got to get one of these done and out today. And it's this one. This that one right there. That one needs to be done. I just got to heat press these two and that leaves me five that have to get out one today for tomorrow well one plus everything we just sat down for today I just have one more that I have to get out today um, But I will probably go ahead and get all the rest of them out too. And tomorrow, like, and schedule a pickup. I'll get them done today and then schedule a pickup. That way I can go to Kristen's tomorrow. But when I leave here, I've got to go to the post office and I've got to go to the vet's office. So I've got to go all over the place. I got to leave here and no later than four, which is in two and a half hours. We got this. And I got to change out of my pajamas. <laughs> Ugh. 
probably should change out of my jams. Probably should change out of my jams, right? But you guys. Put you guys back there. I mean, how's that? I mean, I would feel like adult slide. Truth. <laughs> I need to go ahead and hoop this one. Oh, this place is a disaster, y'all. An absolute disaster. This place is a disaster. Absolutely disaster. Hang on to that thought. I've got to order shirts. Maybe not that bad. Okay, there you go. Ooh, Kristen. Ooh, boy oh boy, do I have a mess. Let me get this done. So what is going on with you guys? What are we working on right now? What's going on? Are we still working at work? Are we taking a lunch break? What's shaking? Aww. Staley, let me know when he's in the car so I can tell him I hope he had a good day. Say hi to him. My boyfriend. I call everybody girlfriend. I'll call all girls girlfriends and all boys are boyfriends. Oh, that's fun, Maria. Ooh, food shopping. I'm so hungry. It's going to pour here. Harley Quinn, Harley Quinn, yay!
Well, that's not good. I know I made it. I remember making it because it was a pain. All right, guys, um, I'm going to have to use the computer real quick, which means you guys are just going to be staring at me staring at the computer because I don't know what I did wrong. Apparently something, right? Apparently something. So give me just one second. There it is. B R O O K L Y N. B R O O K L Y N. Sorry guys, give me just one second. I know it looks like I'm staring at you, but I'm actually designing out something because I apparently kind of copied over it without doing it and that was not the smartest thing I've ever done. Okay. 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 All right. All right, I'm back. Sorry, guys. Give me just one second. Let me erase. Let me uh, eject this. Okay. Yeah. 
Now, another thing I'm going to have to do is look at this one because it has been quite a while since I since I have made this one. I need to make sure I'm making it correctly. Had to grab the fabric. All right, let's put you guys. Eee! Put you guys here. 68 thumbs up. We're close to 70. That's amazing. Okay, you guys are so quiet, so quiet. All right. Got my hand caught so I need to reset it it messed up hi Pamela Lama. I am here uh, hi Beth <laughs> oh I hope it goes good too Joanna This is not going to work.
this thing is going to give me just a fit today between my machine and getting this thing straight. There we go. That's better. All right. Okay, let's try this again, shall we? Sam's back. <laughs> Sam and Pam. Let me catch up with you guys. Now time for school. Yay! Lurking around. <laughs> ping like when i was um entering the numbers that that ping is that what you were talking about
Hi, Tony. I hope you had a fantastic day at school. Hope you had an awesome day. Okay, it's two o'clock, which means I probably have an hour to get this going. It's gonna put me out of here right at three. You guys almost just went flying. You almost went flying. Better plug in, Leslie.
You guys are so funny. Guys are so quiet. It feels so weird. Like it's, it, I know I've said it before, but it's so weird to sit up here and talk to a computer by myself, which is me and Luca. But when you guys are quiet, it's even harder. Like it's even stranger because it's like, I wonder who I'm talking to. I know you guys have a lot going on though. So, but it's very strange. It's very strange. You get used to it eventually, but for the first part, it's a little unnerving. A little unnerving at first. You guys are all at one percent. What's going on with this? Okay, I'm gonna pull you over here. See if we need to print out. Um, I need to put you here. My computer is asleep. The computer itself is awake, but the... Mm. Hang on. Luca has this way of always being right in the way. <laughs>
Yeah, it's come on. There we go. That was a little strange. Got to do some shipping labels. Import from Etsy. Actually, we're just going to do this. You afraid to go downstairs because I threw all this stuff down there? Is that what's going on? Are you afraid now? Are you afraid now? Yeah, it's really bad. It's 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 like stacking up here. It's fixing the rain bad. I need to take her out and go potty. Take her to potty real quick. Can you guys hang on for just a second and let, I can either do this. I can either, I'll let you guys choose. I have to go to the bathroom myself. I drink too much coffee. Um, and then I drink too much water on top of that. So I really have to go to the bathroom and I need to take her out to go potty. So I can either end the live early ish, um, before the shirt is done and before I finish packing up and I can say goodbye or you guys can hang on for about five minutes while I take her out to go potty. Which one do you want to do? Which one would you like to do? Take poll. Speak now or forever hold your peace. You guys okay with that? It's going to be about, depending on how fast she goes, it depends. Sometimes she likes to smell the round a lot. So, but I'm about to cry. I have to go to the bathroom so bad. So, we will be right back. Come on, Lynn. Let's go put you on the go potty. Go go potty. Yeah, let's go.
you. Bless you. Ciao. Alright, I'm back. Woo! We made it. We made it fast, too. This is my second. <laughs> my second break. <laughs> Yeah, she went, she went fast. She had to go, which makes me feel bad. But what are you going to do at the end of the day? She had to go. So we made it fast. Okay, this place is a wreck, a wreck. Okay, so guys, I'm just waiting for this to stitch out. It's got another 25 minutes, 25 minutes. I should have had this up on the, on the hoop and on the machine earlier, but I have a hard time going live doing shirts and doing tutus all at the same time. Like I can do shirts and tutus if I'm not on live, but 
when I'm on live, I can do either shirts or tutus, but I can't do all three. All three of them, they just send me, I just, I'm like, ah, I can't, I can't do it. I just can't do it. It's too much. This too much. And then sometimes like now I'm stuck, I'm not stuck because yeah, I'm not stuck. You guys are awesome. Um, I just feel bad because I'm just sitting here waiting I could start another tutu. Yeah, I just, I, I don't know what it is. It's like, I can do two things. I just can't do the three. So. Aw, no, I just know we take Luca at certain times. But if she has to go in between times, she'll let us know. She always lets us know. It's okay, it was just me. I can't help it. Sometimes I have to. It's okay. It's okay. I don't know what it is. So we have 69 thumbs up. Do you think we can get one more to make it 70? You guys think so? It's one more. Just one more. Twenty more minutes. And then by the time we end this live, which we're not doing right now, but we will in a little bit, um, we'll have been on for seven hours. A seven hour live. 
That's insane to me. I'm back. <laughs> I'm back. I just had to check something out. <gasps> we hit 70. Yay. We hit 70, you guys. Hold on, guys. Got an Etsy issue. Yeah, this one's this one's interesting. We'll see.
All right. It'll be okay. She's panicking over a listing that she can't add to her cart, but I don't know why she can't add it to her cart because it, I can add it to my cart and there's plenty available. I just don't know what she's doing wrong. Um, we'll see. I don't know. I don't know how to help her. I don't know what she's doing wrong. So we will see. Let me go check this real quick. I, I don't know if she's going to understand it or not. I don't, I don't know how else to explain it. All right. So it's doing, oh, let me get my rings on. I tried that. She can't figure it out. So I don't know. Um, I, I don't know how to help. I don't know how to help. I I I don't know how to help. <laughs> I don't know what else to do. She's having trouble with this one too. So I know it's not Etsy and I know it's not my Etsy. It's, um, but I, I just don't know how to help. I don't know how to help it.
it might be. I, I don't know how to talk her through it because she's she's just getting angry with me. And um, I, I don't know how to help when someone is, is our, it then gets like really upset and gets kind of aggressive, then I really, I, it's hard to talk them through it when they're in that state of mind. So we'll see. We shall see. I don't know. I just feel bad because I, I don't, I don't want her to be stressed out. You know what I mean? I want her to be happy. I want everybody to be happy. I don't like it when people aren't happy. It has to finish these last little um, confettis, sprinkles, and then it's got to go and um, do the name and then it'll be done, so. I am still alive. <laughs> Probably for the next 10 minutes, if I had to guess. If I had to guess, it would be 10 minutes. She figured it out. Yay, we got it. We fixed it. She got it fixed. That makes me feel so much better. <laughs> We're doing the name now. We're doing the name. Yeah, she got it. She, I don't know. I, I don't know. She's mad at me, but she placed the order, so she must not be too mad. going to go ahead and end the live. That way I can pack everything up, get stuff downstairs, get stuff to my car. Um, and we will go from there. So thank you guys for six hours and 47 minutes of a live. You guys are awesome. And thank you for the 70 thumbs up because we hit 70. Leslie, thank you for Kristen's order. Thank you guys ever so much for going through and, and liking Kristen's stuff and helping her out. Um, it it was awesome, you guys. Thank you so much. Um, I hope you guys have a fantastic evening, and I will see you next live. Bye, guys. <laughs>